Messages, just very quickly, it's here. because when um, he's an IVF baby, when we went to the scan, the first thing we saw was a little flickering heartbeat, and a seven weeks. Yeah, so and obviously like Thumper from Bambi, you know, thumps his foot. That's why we call him Thumper. Anyway, can we say hello well, to? No, really, it didn't really actually have anything to do with Bambi. It was just because oh. the heart was beating and thumping away, and that was pretty oh, right. much it. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, and I started it. But just so you know as well, that was the clarification that we had definitely got a pregnancy. So yeah. it was an amazing moment and hence why he's kept the name. Thanks very much, Steve. You could have christened him that though. That would be a bit chat. mean, wouldn't it? Steve is in Chesterfield. In a, I think everywhere in the UK is sunny at the minute. Although there are a few thunderstorms. We're starting by uh, Great Yarmouth Minster. We're going to walk Thank down you, Steve. past Thank the you. market. Just, yeah, we just, just saw that. Well, um, I didn't know that was Steve that had just flagged up until I clicked on it. But yeah, lovely. Thank you. Let us know what the, like, the weather's like where you are. Is it sunny, baking, extremely hot or stifling? Let us know. Yeah, Paulie, thank you very much. That's much appreciated. Really uh, appreciate your support. I'll do this because you can yeah, never do two yeah, things nice at once, one. can you? I've got to make you before you go off on another jet plane and so leave me. So if you, if, you if you have missed... Um, Gabby, she's here. Obviously, she didn't come. To, why didn't you come to Benidorm? Explain to people why you didn't come to Benidorm with because, me. Because um, I was working Friday night, and Tim was returning on Friday, so it would have been um, a very close call. In fact, it was a close call because uh, Tim ended up having to get the train back from the train station, and yeah, just yeah, it yeah, wasn't going to work. We were going to clash. My car is completely and utterly screwed. And you know what? If you're so used to having a car, when you don't have one, it's just the worst thing, isn't it? Yeah, and it's even worse when you have a Range Rover because it costs an arm and a leg every time something goes wrong. It costs more than an arm and a leg. One. It costs don't the whole do it. body part. Go and get yourself a pig, as Holly would say. A lot Did of you hear her say that on my vlog? No. A lot of people saying how hot it is. 28 degrees um, in Coventry this afternoon. Obviously, being on the coast, we've got a lovely sea breeze. I would say the temperature is actually about 22 well, actually 21 degrees probably here um in the breeze it's probably feels like 19 i would say the sea breeze on the coast is always good um big thank you to anna anna has sent a super chat saying um ice cream and cold drink fund from hot and sunny kid kidderminster i always say kidderminster 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 <laughs> There's no breeze Thank in you, York, Anna. says Daniel. No breeze in York. Yeah, and I hear Fiona's got rain, Fiona Crockett, but then that's oh, really? Scotland for you, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Because she's from Scotland. <laughs> you know, that's why you, you could have moved to Scotland. Uh, Mad Cat Lady, yes, weather. we are going to be walking down towards the seafront. We're checking on this uh, market that's been taking a while to be built here in Great Yarmouth, and uh, we thought it was supposed to be due to be ready or completion by the summer. And so is the bridge. Well, that's not ready yet, is it? No, it's taking a while, isn't it? That ain't going to be open until next year, apparently. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I know, I'm a bit disappointed. Please give the video a thumbs up. It helps push it out to more of the subscribers. Um, did you know, Gabby, we had, we broke a record on the Benidorm live? I did watch. Um, I think we had I, about... I was, like, cooking, doing my Jamie Oliver skills in the kitchen at the same time. We, I think so we I broke... multitasking for once. We so, broke the record yeah. for um, most amount of... Uh, viewers, I think it was 2,500 at any one time. I went on it, it was you. Um, amazing though. Amazing. Um, somebody just gifted say... a membership. Oh, that, that was Craig. Craig's gifted Thanks, one. Thanks, Craig. Do you know what, Craig? I knew your name just looking at your thumbnail and you straight off. Um, hang on, who got it? Who got it? Shane. Shane Smith. Congratulations, Shane. Cheers, Shane. If my battery doesn't die, I'll give the membership. But I've just got this feeling my battery will die. I'm melting indoors in the heat while sitting in my prison cell. This is the way I get outside. They have TVs for prison in a cell. Well, they do don't. They? Have, I don't think they have YouTube. <laughs> I don't think you have YouTube, do you? Or are you referring to your house like it feels like a prison at the moment in your house? Or are you in I the? I that feeling sometimes. Or are you in the same Ibis hotel I was? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> could be worse. Could be Pontins. Oh, I didn't say that out loud. You I'm did. So this is what it will look like when it's finished. And it's still not finished. I don't know why, but the first market bit took just like, it felt it, like it happened really quickly, but the second part is taking a lot longer. 
David M. Let's have a walk through. Oh, we can't walk through. It's nice walk and live stream and great Yarmouth. A beautiful sunny weather too. David M. has been a channel member for 21 months, which is insane. Hang on. Is that David M. 666? Oh, my he, God. He's David, David, he used to be David N. M. And now it's David M. 666. I said, what's with the devil name? Craig, I just want to apologise. You actually gifted five memberships. And I said, you oh, gifted wow. a Thanks, membership. Oh, wow. Thanks, Craig. You gifted five. Oh, I'm I'll get back and see you've got them. Okay, um, so if you... I'm trying to walk in sliders and read this at the same time. I've got a feeling I might fall over on this live. Hang on. Stay still. Wait. Wait. Um, who else got it? Sh Shane Smith. Fun things to do with Tech and Sparky got one. Uh, Susan Jones got one. Shane Newport got one. And so did Daniel Watkins. Yay. We must just quickly explain about channel membership, just very briefly, because somebody asked me in the chat. So what it is, obviously, if you hit the subscribe button, it's free. It's always free to watch the videos. And channel membership is if you want to support the channel for a price of a cup of coffee and maybe a little bit more if you want. Um, you join in on the live streams, you get a little badge, uh, you get emojis and stuff like that. But you also uh, get to see certain posts that are not available to everybody else. You also can see videos before everybody else. Um, and uh, pictures and stuff like that. So yeah. it's quite good, isn't it? Gabby, you're a member. What the hell? Did you see that? He was like, that seagull was like going directly for us. Oh my God, maybe he was like a troll in disguise. <laughs> wow, I tell you what, that's the thing about Great Armour Seagulls. They are- Ruthless. They are. They just, honestly, we've turned them into monsters, the fish and chips and everything. Hello, ghost hunter. Hope you're okay. One pound burger stall. We will be passing. Hang on, this is a cup of pork. No, there is one pound burger stall, isn't there? Is it a pound? Yeah. I can't remember. I think it might be. I know they do cheap burgers. I don't know. If they're so, yeah, the market's not finished yet. Although it is pretty much almost completed. I think it'd be nicer with them when they get the grass. I mean, it's a bit of a shame about the chip stalls because I'm. Are a they moving the chip stalls? Chip but... Are they moving them? Because they've been here for years. So they've got like two or three left, haven't they? Yeah, there's only a couple. It's a, a great armor tradition, you see, with the chip stalls, which is, and do you know what's even weirder about it? It's the fact that there is one in the um, in the market, but it's just not the same, is it? When no. you're, because that's a proper Yarmouth chip stall, but the one in the market is just not the same. Barry, thank you so much for your super chat. Thank you. Um, towards the well-deserved refreshment family. Thank you so much. Um, the Foxy B also um, has been a member for 21 months. Happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Barry, and thank you, Foxy. Amazing. Thank you. Um, Forbes has been a member for one month. Congratulations. So you're kind of new to the channel. At last, I've managed to catch your live stream. Yay. Well, welcome aboard. And the sun is out as well, which is nice. Going past the truck. We are heading down towards the, uh, the seafront, down one of the famous shopping... Um, areas of Great Yarmouth where you can find all the seasidey stuff that you've always never knew you wanted. <laughs> In fact, what did we buy something from there? Yeah, we did. We bought some for some of those bu um, bubbles. They're that... the most strangest bubbles ever, though, weren't they? Yeah. So they were like um, glue, but the bubbles were amazing. Yeah, we... But we were we were because we my car broke them down. Yeah, we went on the bus and did it, and they went all over people's hair. Blowing bubbles in the bus, and we were like. I don't know why people are getting so frustrated with these bubbles because they're just bubbles and then Tim turned around and said to me Gabby they're just sitting on your head and they're not like going away and then we realised that they're almost like a glue consistency yeah. so no wonder people are getting frustrated because they're throwing these bubbles on people they were just sticking to them oh that's quite funny actually um, and then Tim said do not blow them in the house good place to actually sample it wasn't it on the bus yeah good idea and once again, on this app, it's really annoying about the chat. Sometimes it does uh, get a little bit behind. Um, I'm a single mum and love to see where I can take my boy on holiday on a budget. Sonia, well, Great Yarmouth's a good place to come. Uh, when you went to Siam Park in Tenerife, where did you stop? Are you thinking about going to Tenerife for a... Oh, you're thinking about going to Tenerife for a honeymoon. Where did I stop? Well, there's loads of different places, you know. Um, I can't remember. Largo Gardens or something, I think I might have stayed. But yeah, you're gonna have to keep up with the chat, darling, because um, can you see it with your sunglasses on? Yeah, I can see it. I can see it better with my sunglasses on. Oh, right, okay. That's why I wear them. Um, Jamie says, how often do you go down to Great Yarmouth, Tim? 
Well, we live here, so um, obviously on a quite Maybe a regular once a week. Maybe. Quite on a regular basis. We do come in for coffee quite a lot, don't we? Because um, we have a bit of downtime. Uh, we're very, we're very familiar with the staff at Starbucks. <laughs> we're not on first name basis, are they? I would pretty much. Well, am. no, I they, they, much am now. they have to be on first name basis because they always ask your name anyway, don't they? Oh, that's it. They know mine. <laughs> There right. is a team in there actually. If we do a um we if we... in, or is it too late? Too late. We have to wait. If we have a look yeah. down there, look, you see how busy it is. While we've stopped at the lights, um thank you Andrew for your super chat. Andrew says, ice cream funds. I love all this ice cream fun coming in. Does anyone know I can't actually have ice cream? No. It's a shame. Unless isn't it? I have vegan ice cream. You're going to have to eat a lot of ice cream, Tim, but thank you, Andrew. Thanks, Andrew. And I think when I was in Benidorm, it was uh, an after-dinner an after dinner drink. Um, and a lot of people... I know, I just tripped up. A lot of people... How many times are we going to trip up today in these spiders? A lot of people were asking, Gabby, did I go to see that naughty show at two in the morning? Oh, you bunch of her. <laughs> no, I didn't. Can you imagine if I said, oh, I was a bit bored, darling? I don't really care. <laughs> What? Really you wouldn't went. care if I went into one of those shows no, in Benidorm. Really. What? You've got? Can I, I've got this on tape, so to speak. We've done. We've been together, Tim. Shut Why would I, I No, care? we haven't. <laughs> no, let's be. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. Let's be clear that um, one of your friends took us in there. We had no choice of what we were doing or where we were going. We didn't know what was going to happen. Andrew, thanks very much for that. <laughs> Gabby's caught talking to somebody. Thanks, Craig, for the Thumps gift fund. That's very kind of you. Is the puppet man still around? Um, I haven't seen him in a while, actually. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, fine. I'm a bit because her biological sister just got out after two weeks. Oh right, nice. Do you know Gabby? Yeah. Oh right, okay. Yeah, I was in the Easter when she sang down there. Oh, I see. Yeah, we follow you. We was at the Christmas do uptown as well. Oh, okay. Christmas, wow, that was a while ago. Yeah, I know. We keep saying <laughs> we're going to come to one of the gigs, but every time you're down this way, we're doing something. Do you live in Yarmouth then, do you? Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go up to um, the one at Casey during the other week. Oh, I see. And then she won't, so couldn't do that. Anyway, Donnie, are you ready? Yeah. Sorry. I'm in the middle of doing a live stream. I know, I was so excited to do that. Gabby has no idea. She's, she's always just been... Sorry, everyone. The beach looks really nice with sunbathers. The beach is never as busy as it used to be, but this is where you can get pretty much um, anything and everything down Regent Road. I don't know which one I could get for thumps. I'm just trying to think. <laughs> that one's quite funny. Although that wouldn't be, uh, that wouldn't be for me. Um, Aiden, thanks very much Aiden. The Brooklyn Hotel in Leicester needs a review. Do you know what we'll do, actually? I will show you a hotel that is um, called Faulty Towers in Great Yarmouth. And I'll show you it here on the right-hand side in just a little bit. People keep saying to me, go to that hotel. I will show you from the outside what it looks like. Might take Gabby for a sneaky week I don't away. Know, I don't know if you've missed any of this, but <laughs> yeah. Craig um, has sent a super chat. Um, for the Thumps gift fund. Thank you Yes, so I did much, notice that. Craig. Thanks, Craig. So nice. Thank you. And Daniel Booker has sent one as well. Thank you to me, Gabby and Casper. We love you. Oh, thank you. And do you know what? We love you guys too. You make our day tuning in and, you know, we just enjoy chatting to you. Were, were they your fans? Huh? Were they your singing fans or did you know them? I actually did meet them at a gig, actually, but we've become friends. Oh, OK. Um... I thought that she was crying because she'd just met you. I know, I was. I was like, <laughs> oh my God, the power I have. And then it was like, oh, <laughs> it's because of that, not me. What was she crying for? Or you can't say? Um, well, I, I 
Yeah. Was it something bad? I don't, no, no, nothing oh, like okay. that. But well, again, why was she crying guess, coming up to I you? I guess that's up to her. To but she's crying coming up to you. No, no, she was just crying in general when they just happened <laughs> oh, <right>. to see me. <laughs> I was going to say, you make people yeah. cry, Gabby. <laughs> um, yeah, I do make people cry, not the way I'd like, unfortunately. You make me cry. Well, you make me cry. The bad things. <laughs> How's the Hemsby petition going, John? Interesting. I don't know. You'll have to check online, actually. Um, quickly, um, Aidan has sent a super chat as well. Um, Brooklyn from Colin Lester needs Yeah, I've already said that. Oh, yeah. you said that. Sorry, yeah. I missed that. Sorry, and thank you for your super chat. Is the light on? In oh, do we miss it? Do you know what? It is still on. It is always on, that light in the waxworks. It freaks me out. If you ever come down Regent Mode at night, right, swing past the waxworks and have a look if that light's on. Obviously it's not a wax works anymore, it's some, someone's private accommodation, so don't like, you know, go up to the door or anything, but there'll always be that light on in the so hallway. Sophie Robinson has now been a member for three months. Hope you have a lovely family day in the sun. Thank you, Sophie. We hope you enjoy watching Anyone <laughs> who's been coming to Yarmouth for a while will know this shop is quite famous and this random character that just is consistently being sick. It's got a new outfit on there. He's green. Have I been to Torquay? Not yet. Plan to do that. James Robinson has been a member for six months. It's only six months, but you guys are great. Cheers, Tim, Gabby, and Fumps. Well, you're welcome, and thank you're you. It's shouting. been a pleasure. You know I always shout. Think you're a little bit I deaf. always shout. Well, like, you're, you're shouting. My job in, in like entails standing next to a speaker. Or uh, Richard said, is the Britannia Pier and Wellington Pier still there? Yes, they are still there. We'll, we'll, we'll show you them in a little bit. <laughs> I'd like to, it'd be horrible if they, Yarmouth didn't have its piers. Somebody said a one, one pound burger. I don't know if it is still one pound with um, the cost of living crisis and everything. Have I been to the Isle of Wight? Not yet. This is called Regent Mode, yeah. Is it a one pound burger? Yes, quarter pound burger for a quid. Just there. They do do a one pound burger. Do you know what? It's funny, isn't it? Because the uh, Blackpool does a one pound burger, but our one pound burger isn't famous because they don't have a, a character like Chris Higgins, do they? Higgins, Higgins, Higgins. See, it's, it is good though, having cheap burgers, because if like, you I mean, I, I don't know the quality of them, to be honest. I've never uh, had is one. the big wheel still there? Yes. In fact, also, uh, is it, are you all right? Are you talking? Are you <laughs> he, talking, Bumpy? He just pushes me away. He's like, I'm not interested. He's like, get out of the way, Daddy. Yeah, there's new, there's a new attraction on the Armour Seafront this year. It's the, um, it's a bit, it's the, what's it called? The Sky Swing or something like that? Basically, it's, it's um, a swing in the sky. I, I wouldn't be allowed to go on it live, but um, that would be interesting. Can you imagine? Well, Barry has been a member for nine months and a subscriber for about twice that length. That's actually... Um, it doesn't feel like nine months, Barry. Feels longer, actually. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? I thought it felt shorter. How many thumbs up have we got? Can we get to another thousand thumbs up for the live stream? That would be good. Coming down Regent Road, you hear always country music playing. If you like your country music, you'll love it down there. Gabby's not really a fan because you can't see her bopping away. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't walk down Regent Road bopping away, you know what I mean? Especially when I'm not like, if I had a couple of red wines, I might bop away. Um, Favourite place you've been, which is on highest on my list, is the Indo Water Park in Germany, which looks unreal. LJA. Yeah, definitely. Should we go and show you this Faulty Towers Hotel? Bed and breakfast. We'll come back on to um, Regent Road in just a moment. Come on, Gabby, where are you? You lag it. You always do this. You're starting to lag behind. You're all walking with me, all up there, ready to go. And then you just drift off. Do you want me to explain myself? Go on then. It's just because my chat's lagging and I really want to keep up you... with the chat. And I'm wearing sliders. So if I'm looking at my phone and I'm walking at the same time trying to sort this out, it's a good chance I'll trip over. Yes, it'll be quality entertainment, but I don't want to. I really don't want to fall over. I'm just the sliders Anyway, here is Faulty Towers, the actual proper Faulty Towers. Oh, give it here. No, I can do this. 
Would you stay there, Gabby? Just look above the... Um, oh, no, I, unfortunately no, I wouldn't. It's, it's a bit of a Halloween vibe. There's a Spider-Man vibe really nice there. nice inside. Yeah, I must do um, a review on it. It's a bed and breakfast, all rooms with ensuite. Your face. Would you stay the night though? This is the burning question. Do you reckon it's haunted? Yeah. Why, why are you stopping? Come on. I just explained why. I know, but you can walk oh, and talk. Listen, I know, but if, if I lose you when it gets really busy, I don't know what I'll do. I don't do. think you're going to lose me down this road. <laughs> um, Scott M, thank you so much. Keep up the great work, Tim and Gabby. Your channel is growing with all the great content. Oh, that is so lovely, Scott. Thank you. Cheers, Scott. It's really fun. What sliders, Gabby, really? My River Island sliders, baby. Oh, no, Gabby, you, you know what you're doing right now. People who love the feet. There right, you go. now is your chance. If you want them feet um, selfies, <laughs> selfies, you know, got all the people that ask me for feet pics. <laughs> yes. Can I have a picture with you? Yeah, sure, mate, oh. definitely. I've just walked in your line. I oh. live here, I do. What's your name? Nick. Do you want to be on the. Yeah. So shout out to Nick. Oh, yeah. Oh. You live in Great Yarmouth, yeah? yeah? Nice I've watched one. every single video of yours. Have you? Yeah. Okay. Appreciate that, Nick. I um, started watching you because my mum watched you. Yeah. And um, I wanted to find places to go away, and so I started watching you. So where have you been that you've seen? Uh, I haven't been to there any yet because um, <laughs> I've done the Norfolk Broads and stuff. Yeah. But um, that's one holiday I suggest you guys should do, the Norfolk Broads. Yeah, we love the Norfolk Broads. Well, Gabby's not a fan. Or going on a boat? Yeah. She don't like I it. I would love to, but I can't be bothered to drive the boat. Who That's the problem. To? Like, if I had like um, my own captain, yeah. I'd um, be fine. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I know, but who am I going to drink with if you drive the boat? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> should we get this boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> right. Here, I'll take it for you. Do you um, Hang on. Because then, because if you have the look, this gentleman's got sliders on as well. Yeah, see, we're <laughs> in the trend, aren't we? Right. I if don't, anyone I don't wants, know. I have flip flops. Nick, Picks as well. If anyone wants them, oh yeah, fish. check out those little red socks. Oh yeah, check out them bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Nick. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> Smile. Right. One. Oh, you want the camera? Right. One, two, three. I'll take a couple. Yeah. Sure, that like. seagull's going for me. <laughs> I'll take one this way as well. Yeah. Just be your Instagram That is an story. ultimate phone case there. Yay. Cheers, oh, Cheers buddy. Have a good, good day. Say hi, yeah. Nick. I thought, well, I live here. Yeah. Me and my granddad has just been out, so I thought, what are you down here? I can't quickly see you. Oh. Cool. Cheers, Nick. Thanks yeah. for coming over, buddy. Yeah, see you care. later. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, there is a video on the Norfolk totally Broads on the channel, by the way. But yes, there's something I'd like to do, like to spend like a couple of days away. Thing is, he's trying to fit it all in in one summer because there's a lot of videos coming your way, which uh, we'll discuss a little bit later on, including obviously the videos that I have just filmed in Benidorm. One of which is um, I stay in the cheapest hotel in Benidorm, and I was, and I'm gonna say it, which I know is gonna really annoy some people, but I stayed in the cheapest hotel in Benidorm, and I was shocked. Why? Because it was good. I'm not gonna tell you. Oh. I'll keep you in suspense. Um, and on that note, Paddington has just said in the chat, hello from an overcast Bournemouth. No. Yes, Bournemouth. an overcast Bournemouth. Oh, that's a bit of a shock. Um, as Gabby would say, the seafront is kicking. It's pretty Click busy bait. down here today. Hey, if it's... It wasn't clickbait, it, it was publicising. Yeah. <laughs> people, people often say... Um, when I put, I was shocked, right, if one of my videos that says clickbait, and I'm like, well, no, I wasn't, I was shocked, because it was either really nice or really bad. To be fair, I get a shock about five times a day. Uh, sorry if we're behind on the chat, guys, do apologise. Donald Duck, thanks very much for your little thumbs yeah, up there. thank you, Donald Rebecca Duck. J says, love the outfit, Gabby. Oh, do you, yeah, thanks. Do you know what, I did think to myself, this combo wasn't going to work today, because I thought... You know, with this having a bit of frill down here, me having buttons on my skirt, not gonna go. But I thought, I'll just wear it and rock it. A bit of frill? Yeah, you shouldn't really do that. That's a big no-no. A but, bit of frill or thrill? Frill, not should frill, we, um, like a buzz. Should we frill go on like the... Uh, frill on a bit of item of clothing. We'll go on the pier first, should we, Gabby? <laughs> I do get easily shocked, yeah. Thanks, Donald Duck. Uh, I haven't been to Great Yarmouth for 20 years, bringing back some memories. Gabby, would you ever... Gabby, would you ever busk on the seafront? No. 
Oh, well, I don't knock anyone that does do it because it takes some guts. So I take my hat off to people that do, and it's hard graft for not a lot of money. But um, but I I I genuinely I I yeah I don't think I could. Hey, the uh, the Daniel Shepherd said. Uh, bring him in a bit more. Cause... Let's see your outfit, Tim, today. Well, I've never been asked well, that before. But um, I've got no jeans on, it's shorts. And there you go. We are colour coordinated though, we're both wearing white. It's like we get married. Again. Why would I be wearing white? More importantly, why would you? A virgin, that's why. Who, me? <laughs> oh, yes, baby. <laughs> that's a, that's a, like an American bike over there. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That's got two wheels on the back. That's an electric bike as Does well. Does that mean it goes faster? That, that reminds me of like, you know, the um, the movie Tron? No, I've never seen that. What? Have you not seen the movie Tron, darling? No, I'm not. Really? Um, thank you for your super chat. Um, I can't read the Come along with me. Come um, along with me. Little pair. Keep it up. Character. With the Keep dumbbells. Thank you so much. Wow, thanks so much for that. Appreciate and thank that. you so much, Alison James, the Slush Puppy Fund. Alison, I can actually have a Slush Puppy, so thank you so much. And cheers, Craig, as well. Thank you. I really, we really do appreciate We've the We've got uh, 1.4 people watching. Hit the thumbs up. Show the love this afternoon. Show the love for Great Yarmouth Seafront and the sunshine. Did you know that the pier has actually been taken over? It's no longer owned by the same company that's had it for a good few years now. And you'll see some notable changes, only very subtle ones, and I'll see if you can spot them. Alright. A lot of them are still the same. We need to walk a little bit quickly because we might need a signal. Are going to get through here? Around here. Should we have gone the other way, do you think? No, we can't. Well, there's steps. We can't. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Classic seaside treats. I, do you know what? This, this part of the pier has not changed for ever since I've been coming to Great Yarmouth. Have you ever eaten in that cafe, Tim? Yeah, I used to. Is it good? How much is breakfast? Well, I wouldn't go there for breakfast, no. Breakfast, all day breakfast, which is two of every day, $7.95. How did that compare to... Um, Weatherspoons? Music. Well, Music. Oh, we better make it. Music, yeah. <laughs> but the donkeys are back on the beach this year, which is good. Good old Great Yarmouth donkeys. I didn't even know they left. Wow, just uh, look at the beach today. I mean, this is one thing about Great Yarmouth that I always go on about. That Central beach is huge. Central Beach is huge. And uh, the Arabian Derby, most annoying thing it's, ever. It's this big, but why does it not feel as nice as Goldstone and Lowestoft Beach? Yeah, it's so big, it's so sad. It's Just look at that. There, in fact, this is the first time I've seen the beach this busy in a while. Do you know what? Unfortunately, it never pulls in the amount of people that it used to back in the, you know, the obviously the 50s and the like 60s. Like the black and white pictures. Yeah, you'll never see the beach as busy as that ever, which is a shame. I don't know why that is, but you know. Anyway, can you spot the differences up here, Gabby? I'll try. David MW says that boy Chubby Brown is here at the... Theater. I do actually like watching it. Oh, that's very. Um, yeah, where we can go for a coffee now. Yeah. Very vintage. I think they've changed some of the signage on like here, that. and they've also got some. Uh, Why have they got so these these are new. These lights and these little banner things. But they've changed the signage. I think they're doing something else because they've still got wires hanging down. So they're doing something else with it. But yeah, I think out of all the piers, I mean, obviously I like um, um, Eastbourne Pier. You know, the one that's gold. Look at the donkeys. I like that pier, but Britannia Pier oh, is always my favourite. Look! Can you see? Look at the donkeys. Can you see them, Donkey? They're actually jingling wow. like Christmas. Wow! He's looking, look. Is Foxy down. B here? Can you update us on the uh, on wow, the signal? Alison, thanks very much for your slush puppy fund. Wow, thank you so I've much, Alison. You said that. Oh, have you? Sorry. Yeah, oh, where are you? You never listen to me. Sorry, I'm a little bit behind on the chat. Um, I can see that Elvis is on the Britannia Pier. We'll show you some of the shows. I think um, Chubby Brown has been on the pier for forever, every summer. Jim Davidson, like Sarah Davidson. Milligan, Joe Pasquale. It's always the same people, though. Um, that's a bit random. Look at this. If anyone is familiar with my Pontins videos, you'll never see these working. 
This is what they look like when they actually... Is that an actual one? Yeah. I, uh, in fact, I don't think I've ever seen one in action. Well, it's not working now unless you put money in it. We haven't got any cash on us, have we? But nobody really carries cash anymore, do they? That's the problem. They need to have one of they those do. things that accepts, like, your phone... You know, when you make a phone payment. But as I was saying, you know, Britannia Pier is still one of my favourite piers in the UK. I'm, I'm biased because, uh, obviously, from Great Yarmouth, but I love the, the wooden pier, the, the feel of it. It is one of my favourites. Yeah. And that clock. And that clock still works up the top there, which is quite good. Um, Nick has just sent a super sticker as well. Um, because, Nick, that is your first one as well, because the one has just come up. So thank you so much, Nick. Well, wait, but have wait. you noticed all these other little bits that have appeared on the pier now? It's, oh, it's well, getting yeah, a little bit more see. exciting. Churros. Yeah. Wow. Love churros. The fact yeah, that they'll, they'll be there all year round now. It's like something you'd see at a Christmas fair, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, with the whole, like, wooden... Yeah, but it's good to cabin. see some, uh, some investment. Oh, my God, that smells amazing. How long oh, are you staying, nice Andrew? Donuts. Well, obviously we live here, Andrew, so we'll be staying a while. <laughs> 1.6k watching. How many get thumbs, the thumbs up? Get the thumbs. I don't know. Um, let us know in the chat how many thumbs we've got because I can't go and check that without coming off. So um, let us know. This is actually one of my favourite piers um, to sit down and have a drink as well because Jolly Rogers at the end, uh, Jolly Johns, Long Johns, Jolly Johns. I'm thinking Jolly of something Johns. else. <laughs> I'm thinking of Skegness. Because you can sit here, there's music blaring out, and uh, you just check out the beach. I don't know why, but there is a lot of people further up the beach up there. Let's have a look. I don't understand. Gabby yeah, just the stands right in the in middle. It's a long time that I've actually stood on this pier and been warm. Because usually <laughs> I'm freezing on the pier. Yeah, we've got to keep walking. By music. the way, five, six, nine farms. Gabby, music. Music, Gabby. We've got to keep walking. Okay, I'll keep walking. If we stay here, we'll get demonetized. So. YouTube doesn't like music, it's copyright all over the shop. Yeah, so a nice place to come for a drink. Long John's, not Jolly John's, that's Skegness. And there's um, quite a few little rides. Thumps has actually been on his um, first couple of rides on here, which he did enjoy. Although uh, last time I was here with Casper, I kind of um, damaged him a little bit. <laughs> he fell into um, a chair leg. He was walking around, he fell into a chair leg. Gabby went I was at me. Didn't you? Accidents happen though at this age, unfortunately. I am. I know, but you're not saying much about the chat. I can't hear it. Oh, I'm about to. Go on then. You just, if you, when you stop, I'll start. Go. Let's Craig, thank you so much for your super <clears throat> chat. Stop shouting. Everyone's staring. You can't have it both ways. You either want me to talk or I not. Know, but you're shouting. And I know you're saying I'm shouting, but that's me, isn't it? Okay, all right. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> Craig says it's Ben, his fiance's um, birthday, and wants me to sing Happy Birthday. But I think Tim should sing it. Go on, Tim. That's the only message you've done. There's all these messages. That's all you got. Well, I didn't know we were standing stationary for you to read them all out. Hang on. Just to catch up with a few. Aiden says um, they will penalise you even if you accidentally have music in the background. That is yeah, right, Aiden. They do. Um, Bum Natural says stop shouting so funny do you know what I, I don't mean to I'm, I just all my family talk loud it's terrible Christine um, love it's because we're this. musicians you see and we're used Christine to was back here music. in April we went to Vauxhall after watching your video I didn't do too much of a tour there to be honest because that was um, like a couple of years ago now um, please don't keep waving your hands in front of the camera we know what you're looking at oh, you're filming it oh dear Baltimore calm down oh dear sorry darling um, be nice. Hashtag be nice. Um, come on, Gabby, sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. I'll come away <laughs> from the camera so you can see the view. Happy birthday. They've got a deck to chair here, look. Just happy like um, Clacton Pier has. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Clacton Pier has one of hip, those. Hip, hip, hooray to Ben. Do they? Do you know what? This I used think to most be. Piers have them, don't they? This used to be my favourite slide as a kid, and the fact that it's still here to this day. I hope they never get rid of it. I want to take thumps on it because it gives me an excuse to go on it. However, that that hasn't been operational for a while. There's a lot of local photographers that get the the best sunrise photo of um, Britannia Pier from the beach down there. Talking of sunrises, you know it's almost the longest day of the year, and the best yeah. place to come is the most eastern eastern point in the UK, which yes. is Lowestoft. Yes. Shout out to the First Light Festival that is back. I was there last year, but I'm not doing anything this year though for it because um, it's only next week. The longest day of the year? No, it's uh, not. It's the week after. 
Oh, right. Well, I won't be around, unfortunately. Uh, Jamie says, my mum is so jealous because she wants to be in Great Yarmouth right now. We'll tell her that later we'll have a drink for her to celebrate. How's that? <laughs> and then then she'll that... be with us, like, in spirit kind of thing. What's really funny is that there's actually nobody um, really on the rides. They're all actually on the beach for once, where normally people are... Uh... I have to keep talking, the though, because the money. it's free. The sea is free. <laughs> yeah. It's the time to do it when it's warm, isn't it? We'll have a walk Otherwise, around. You can't enjoy the sea. Yeah, we'll have a walk around this there way. There are people actually in the sea today. It's actually in great all sorts. Now I know I, it begs the question: if you come to Great Yarmouth, which side of the pier do you take? Because um, depending on who you ask, they'll say they either go the left side or the right side. Let's have a little look. Let's have a look. This is quite busy this way. Um, David says, could you say hello to Dave and Shirley from Northampton? Hello to you Hello, guys. Dave and Shirley from Northampton. Just so you know, we're so, I'm so sorry if we do mess anyone in the chat. It does roll quite fast and we try to do our best. It's, it's hard to... slow mode. And you know me, I can't multitask. I'm terrible. And I've got my sliders on. Anyway, should we just have a look down the coast towards uh, Caister? As you can see there, the camera. This is a phone camera, so it's not that great. But you can see probably further down the coast to Caister. But there's a lot of people on the beach here. Not oh. as many as the other side here's a question for you tim yeah which side of the pier do you prefer honestly this side or that side like well, you're gonna have a day if i was gonna sunbathe i um i like it just further down here because there's a little um yeah. there's a little hill it's always very don't quiet you prefer to be a bit nearer to the sea well though? i feel that's too open over there no what? i mean do you prefer to be a bit further down towards the sea rather than right back there towards the wall because it's quite well, a no, stretch it's more, isn't it it's more pebbly if you fancy going for a paddle you've got to walk about 10 miles to it's get to pebbly. the sea that is the problem but this is really interesting i've always found this odd about great yarmouth you've got that lovely beach and then it goes into dunes from here um, all the way down towards Caister. But the best thing about this coastline is that we don't have too much of a tide coming in and out. So you can safely walk pretty much, well you can walk all the way to Caister, you can walk to Hemsby, you can then walk on to Winterton and Seaport and further up the coast if you're that crazy. Mm -hmm. But that's what's also great about it. You can't really go far the other direction because of the outer harbour. Yeah. Um, Nikki said in the chat she can't believe how quiet it looks she, uh, rather than busy but it is busy um, you've got to bear we'll in mind you. the other side is really busy yeah. but to be fair it's a massive stretch isn't it it's a massive it's bit a, of sand well to they cover. don't call it a golden mile for nothing no well that bit's not the golden mile that bit's the golden mile no the golden mile goes all the way up the front yeah but I mean I, never mind um, Marcus Herbert has just has just joined Walk with me, beginner. Congratulations Cheers, and buddy. welcome on board. Love it. Temperature's 20, I think it's about 22 degrees. There is a nice sea breeze and it's keeping it not cold. Um, it's keeping it nice and, um, I wouldn't say cool, but it's just, it's just nice. But um, as soon as you come out of the breeze, it's quite warm. Chad Pro Rock as well. Thank you so much for your super sticker with that lovely thumbs up. We're loving that. <laughs> Fabulous. Hopefully you're all enjoying the live this today. Um, Liz Taylor. Daddy, it's done and I can't hear you. Come, Sorry. come a bit closer. Just don't walk so fast, just hold back. Um, Liz Taylor, thank you so much for your super sticker. I love that emoji. That's just like kissing all the hearts. Loving it, thank you. Um, and Evil Tweak 176, thank you so much for your super sticker. I don't know what that face is all about. It's kind of like a bit of a confused one, but thank you so much. Leslie, I have walked Yarmouth to Hemsby with a group. Um, with a few years back do you know what yesterday they were doing a walk weren't they along the coast um i don't know too much about it but it was called peer to peer so we have a feeling that people were walking like from cromarty army were they so what they were doing yesterday i don't that was know insane. i think something like all that. these walkers that were just walking along the coast I, I don't know if they were raising funds or what but it was pretty amazing and it's a great way to keep fit so i thought it was great i took my hat off to them so the shows that are appearing here yet again Again, you, you get the same, although Shawadi Wadi are back here. But like Shawadi Wadi, I mean like 50th anniversary tour, they've been going for a long time. I, I do miss the, um, I used to like stuff like the Grumbleweeds, you know, being a bit of a 90s child growing up in that era. A lot I of this though is a bit, here, though. a lot of it is old fashioned now, I think, you know. They need, yeah, they need to um, update. Although them. Jimmy Carr is here, but they've, they have Jimmy Carr and Sarah Milligan a lot. They used to have Joe Pasquale, he's no longer here. But Jim Davison's a little bit of a fan of Great Yarmouth. He's a Patreon for the um, Case of Lifeboat as well. And he used to have Wellington Pier, didn't he? He rented it. Oh, he rented it? Yeah. I love this. S. Wake says, Gabby, don't shout, but I can't hear you. Lol. Can't get it right. Yeah, this is... Can you see what I'm up against? 
can't no, it's just, win. No, it was just because we were on the pier there. It was really quiet and everyone just win. stared at me. And I was like, it's not me, it's Gabby. <laughs> hey, Alec. Oh, wow. They've just did stopped. Put money in or did that no, they do it money? every so often. What, to promote it? <laughs> to promote it. That's why they do it, to promote it. Just let it um, spew out a bit of water to promote it. Somebody said Benidorm is like Blackpool with sun. I wouldn't go that far because, um, it, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, I like Benidorm, I like it a lot. But it does feel different to Blackpool. Emma in the chat says, um, going back to that whole walking thing, she says, my son did a walk from London to Brighton for cancer. Um, that's incredible. Well done to your son, amazing. Somebody said we got sun cream on. Of Have course. you? Yes. Have you? Sort of. I've got body cream that's got an SP in it, so sort of. Um, but Casper's all a, a cream Casper. On top of it. Yeah. Although we need to just. When, you, when you're a mum, your priorities change, don't they? You kind of forget. You neglect yourself a bit, don't you? Do the Do you know what? That would do my head in working on that Arabian derby every day. Consistently hearing that. <laughs> I used to hear it when I worked at the Holly Park um, at Haven many moons ago, and it used to be on repeat, and I used to be singing it in my school. See how busy it is in that restaurant, though? Well, you must be doing something right in there. I want to try it. Sure, I think we should try it. Should we go and have lunch in there? I think we're late for lunch. We're going to have dinner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot what the time was. To me, it's lunchtime. By the way, just very quickly as well, if, um, if you want to see what Great Yarmouth is like on board a boat, like doing a little bit of a trip from Lower Stoff to Great Yarmouth, I've pinned it in the, uh, in the chat and in the description. So after this, go and check that out. As I do, um, it was last year actually, and a, a boat called Jet Adventures. There's not many boat trips in Great Yarmouth. I've always said this, I've always been gutted about it, but Jet Adventures do it, and they're now based from Lower Stoff Pier. And you can go out and see Scroby Sands. They do private evening cruises as well. It's actually really cool. And there's, I think it's the only boat trip now that um, operates in Great Yarmouth compared to other places, you know, seaside towns around, around the UK. There's loads, but in Yarmouth there just isn't, which is a bit of a shame. We've always said that. But like when we go down south, they embrace the, the sea a little bit more than we do here in Norfolk. Yeah, they do like we a don't lot do water any sports. Trip, we don't do any water sports here at all. And it's a little bit like... I know it's the North Sea, so it's probably not the warmest, but it does get fairly warm in the summer. Yeah. Um, just quickly, um, a big thank you to Brian for your super chat. Um, be loud and proud. Uh, last weekend, though, we were we were down here and they had fun on the beach. I don't know why they called it fun on the beach because nothing was on the beach. It was just loads of like um, classic cars and that kind of thing. Scott would like to know what type of phone you used, Tim. It's a Samsung S22 Ultra. So we'll go and check out the beach. We'll go and walk down towards the Pleasure Beach as well. Hope you're enjoying the live stream. Give the video a thumbs up, why not? Just come and say hello. It's a relaxed Sunday. I do this, you know, we try and do it every Sunday, but obviously depending where I am and traveling and stuff like that. But even if I'm not live on a Sunday, I'll pop up a video. I'll tell you what, these have got bigger again. There used to be hardly any here, and now- They've been proper washed. They look well clean, man. There's, there's, honestly, Casper will be so excited. I, I, I don't know, it might be a bit, a bit much for him, won't it? I don't know. If he does go on, it wouldn't be for very long. Evil twerk. Thanks very much for your um, super sticker there. Isaac says, or I don't pronounce it right, is it Isaac, Isaac, I'm not sure. Um, a lot of seaside towns do nothing. I visited Hull once and there is nothing by the seafront. Yeah, I noticed that. You go to some and it is a bit like, there's not much Some going embrace on here. it more. Than, I mean, yeah. like Great Yarmouth always has. It's got there's one of them. Um, it's got, well, all the beaches in Norfolk are huge. And this time of year, honestly, you've got to just go up the North Norfolk coast. We, I always say the North Norfolk coast on a summer's evening is just beautiful. Just driving up towards, um, you know, um, Wells, Brancaster. It's just really lovely. Um, people are saying in the chat the signal is breaking up, but then someone else says it's fine. So I don't I know. I think it was where we um, were. Yeah, if the signal was breaking up, please just persevere. It may wobble at times, but, you know, we should get through it. I'm relying on Gabby actually with the uh, the chat at the moment because I can't. I'm trying to push Casper at the same time. 
Um, Paige says, I love you guys. Me and my family was there last week. Wish we were there. Oh, Paige. Again, Paige. We're going to have a drink later, so we're going to have a drink for you. <laughs> but it won't be on the beach. Well, cheers to everyone that wants to be here that isn't here, so we feel together. That's one of the good things about watching the live, though. It does make you feel like you're back here, doesn't it? So, you know. That's why we do it, so you feel like you're in and the And it it's actually really good to see the sun and the blue sky in Great Yarmouth. Do you know, it's the first time in a long time that I've actually done a live walk and not felt cold as well. Like, I feel so comfortable today. It's fun he's okay. Yeah, it is all right. He's loving it. He loves sitting in the pram and just looking, don't he? So we'll swing a right here and walk past the Marina Centre, or should we go... Oh, actually, if we just go along the promenade this way and then on the way back we'll go along the um, on the seafront because the thing is is because the sun's over there it's going to be a bit um, kind of in the lens so um, I love this comment by uh, Stephen Smith not been to Yarmouth since the 90s wow that was a while back um, must try and get back there do they still do the boards cruises um, yeah from there's... the shops also no. is the Southern Comfort paddle steamer still going well, that's, that's not in Great Yarmouth, that's on is the that, broads. Is that on the, yeah, does that go from Lowell Star? No. Um, no, there's one from Norwich. They do They've got a Broxham. I don't know if it's a Southern Comfort one, though. Did you know that Great Yarmouth has a, a place to do beach volleyball, but no one ever uses it? Oh. It's just up here on the, on the left, don't know why. Luke, you've just reminded me. He wants to know if I'm going to have a toilet break. And yeah, no, to you don't. You're just putting that into her mind now. You've yeah, just, that's it now. You've just planted that seed into her mind. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need there, it. There, there might be a toilet break. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Do I need to go to or not? I'm not sure. Rosie Lee says, My mum would never go on the beach. Doesn't like the sand and the pier. And she's afraid of the water and under her feet on the pier. Cracking holidays in Yarmouth for <coughs> me. I was there as a kid. Sorry, you know what, I was that? there with the kids last week. That's the weird thing. Yeah. I'm surprised how many people, you know, the beach is supposed to be an amazing place by the sea. It's everyone's dream. Well, it's not everyone's dream because some people actually hate it. You don't like the sand between your toes. I do, but not when my feet are wet and then, like, I have to put my shoes back on. And, yeah, well, I don't likes, like that feeling well, nobody at all. likes that. I'm just talking about generally like, just being on the beach. It's not too bad when you're abroad, though, because obviously they have the water thingies so you can just rinse your feet off and stick them back in your primer. That's one thing Yarmouth don't but, have. I, I can't have you stand that? it locally because there's nowhere to wash your feet. I hate that. Have you noticed that though? There's nowhere like that. No, Yarmouth. they need to get some. They need to get some taps. But there is on the south coast. I don't know what it is about Norfolk, but yeah, we don't have showers on the beach. We don't have um, places to wash your feet either. No. Like that lady there is just using... Um, A bottle of water. <laughs> bottle of water, yeah. Yeah, I hate that feeling. It's all right if you don't go for a paddle though and your feet don't get wet there, it's fine. Because it just brushes off. Um, Aidan says, I don't like sand, it's coarse and rough and irritating. And it Am I still live? Because I think I might have Please accidentally just, I might have just accidentally just turned us off. <laughs> have I? Oh, it's still rolling where I'm concerned, but I might have a delay. Hang on. Still rolling. We're still rolling. We're stationary. We're rolling. Are we? My phone's gone weird. I can't see anything. Everyone's saying you're fine. Yes, yeah, still live. You're still alive. It's a good job we didn't swear then, weren't it? Oh, yeah. See, look before. how many people are up this end. It's quite busy up here, isn't it? See, the thing is, is people, because the beach is Why so is big. It congregated here, <coughs> I reckon? As I was just about to say, Dom. The oh, beach sorry, is so sorry. big that they're all by the shoreline rather than away from the, uh, the beach here. Oh, uh, is it also because people have parked their car in that local car park, probably? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Look, I can't see anything on my phone now. It's gone well weird. Up it's the afternoon tomorrow. The one on it, I love it. It's stuffering, it's buffering. We're going to keep we're it. It's signal gone. You know why, don't you, as well? Keep walking. Stay with us, guys. I'm just going to comment in the chat in case no one can hear me. Stay with us. There you go. Signal looks a bit better now. That just really okay. died behind the marina centre. I'll be back. You should have gone the other way. Top tip, don't go behind the marina do centre do again. Don't do that. We'll walk the other way next time. Oh. Uh, thank you very in. much, John. Uh, cheers, what are you for me? Brett Meister. What are you, you looking? 
Oh, Shane has just celebrated one month of membership. We're really lucky to have all these uh, nice beaches. We definitely are. In Norfolk, definitely are. Um, what a name. King Muggle Mog. <laughs> hey, Timmy Gabby. Thank you very much for doing this. I used to go down to Great Yarmouth for my holidays all the time till <clears> last <throat> year um, when I lost my nan, who I used to go with. Oh, well, thinking of you and hope that you enjoy this live this afternoon. Uh, Tim, is Casper talking yet? No. Well, he's just blurbering. Blurbering, blurbering, He's blurbering. going, a da 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 mm, 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 mm. Yeah. da 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 Apparently it's a little bit of a failed thing really, it didn't, it didn't make as much money as they were hoping it to. It's a bit of a shame. Amy Hill says, hi to me Gabby, we're going next weekend for my birthday. We love your videos, <coughs> love Amy and Aaron. Oh, thank you very much, thank you for watching. Yeah, as I said, you know, if you want to see a little bit of a different view of Great Yarmouth, you know, after the live has finished, I've linked it in the top of the chat and in the description. Um, you can see me go on a, a jet boat basically from uh, Alton Broad and then we leave Lower Stoft and we come up the coast to Great Yarmouth, do a bit of drone action in it as well, yeah. it's quite good. So Susan has just said that she thought that the air show was from Lower Stoft. Oh, there is an air show, there is an air show in Lower Stoft. There used to oh, be an air right show in Lower Stoft. Um, you say that so loud right by the person. Um, <laughs> Susan, um, Gabby never holds back. Yeah, but I just don't people want to hear other people's... People say, oh, shut up, shut up, Gabby, to be honest. Do you know what I mean? Go smoke it in your house. Um, oh dear. Someone's yeah, opinionated. It does annoy me because you... I'm not... A, if you want to smoke it, go for it. But just don't smoke it where I can inhale it. Oh, that's um, a good point. Foxy B, can you update us with the signal? Is it okay now? So, yeah, the air show did used to take place in Lower Stoft. And I think that they've done it here, what, once? Just as a... Yeah, Just and it's a shame because Blackpool it? do it, Bournemouth do it, and they all do it really Stop. successfully. But it does cost a lot of money to put on as well. That's it, isn't it? That's the thing. Aidan says, do you prefer it live, Tim? Um, you can hang out with your wife and not have to spend hours editing. Yeah, and putting the camera back and then walking past. Yes, but the only thing about the live is obviously it's not in 4K, so it's not... Uh, and um, things can go wrong. Yeah, like the signal, which I, I'm not in control of, which is a bit of a shame. But the, the, the live, I mean, a lot of people, when I first started doing the lives, they couldn't understand what it was because all the videos are normally edited and polished and they're like, well, this is a bit boring. But a live stream is best enjoyed live. We're just having a chat. You can come and say hello. Um, and we walk around some of your favourite seaside towns and um, resorts as well. Like you say, we're in Benidorm just a few days ago well I was yeah I'm, I'm gonna be in Zante in a couple of weeks and whether we can do a live from there is because um, because now we've left the EU mobile phone signals and your data is so much more expensive if you're in if you're in Europe it costs about two pound a day to use your data but um, if you go a little bit further field which is classed as worldwide then it costs a lot more and it's just um, well it would just be too expensive is he alright yeah, I'm just checking on in. You like Yeah, so this is new in Great Yarmouth this year, and it's um, it's quite nice that, to see something on the seafront again. I don't know how long this is going to be here, but Blackpool do this thing called Christmas um, by the Sea, or is it Christmas by the Beach? Or something like that. And um, I think Great Yarmouth should put an event on like that down the seafront. I think that'd be really good. But that does go blooming high. I'd love to take Gabby on that, but she would never go on it. Well, then swing. Was it Flamingo yes. Land we went on one? I hated that. I felt so unsafe. Like, really unsafe. Um, Gabby, get to ride on it, Elliot says. No, honestly, I feel well unsafe on there. There just doesn't feel like... When you're up in the air, and it is like sitting literally on a swing, high up with no protection, you've got like a little strap, but... Oh, it feels too unsafe for me. It's just, I think it's just the way it hangs by what it hangs by. You just think, ah, are they strong enough to hold me that high? It's just chains, isn't it? I, I don't like it. I really don't like um, it. Kay, is KK still in the chat? Because he said, um, I'll pay for you to go on the big oh wheel. We, we have done that once. We have, that, we have done that once during a live. 
Marcus says if we pay for it, Gabby. No, I wouldn't go on it if you paid me. <laughs> That's we very did. thoughtful, though. Didn't we do a big wheel in Bournemouth Live? We did. Do you remember? Yes, we did. That's fine. And oh, you were no, scared. I on that. That's not a problem. It's that. Unfortunately, we can't. Sorry, KK. We can't go on it just because of thumps. And um, well, I could go on it, but I don't want to leave you. Really, I'm leaving you with too much at the minute. Luke <laughs> says I'm not one for high rides. I don't mind. A you get high some ride great views as though. As long as I feel secure. You do get some amazing views. However, when they put when they put this here, I would have thought they would have actually put it the other way, because you, I, I well. Because you would have seen, well, I don't know. I guess it's the way they're sitting that you can see more of the seafront. I don't prices. know. So children, um, not to 15 years, six pound, adults eight. Um, a family group, which is Thanks, Foxy B. children, 25 pound. And an extra large family group, which is up to six people, is 35. So there you go. If anyone wants to celebrate their birthday on the wheel. How many thumbs up we got, Gabby? Let's have an update. I, don't, uh, I can't see. I'm going to have to ask you guys because I can't see from mine. So let us know. Um, but while I'm waiting for you to get back to me on that one, Kim, <laughs> Kimmy Kim 28 has joined Walk With Me Advance. Oh, thank so, you, Kimmy Kim. Um, wow. Welcome, Welcome to aboard. the family. Wow, loving it. And Mel says 801, but Daniel says 492. I'm well confused. Hit it. Someone else says 800. Someone else says 805. So I think it's somewhere in the 800s, I think. I think Casper's enjoying it because he's... Um, He's doing a lot of talking. Oh, well, that's all right then. As long as the baby's happy, that's fine. So, oh, by the way, I'm going to eat one of his rusks. I'm starving. Maybe give one to him as well, actually. Yeah, all right. Should let's have, uh, a, let's have a thump family? date. Are you having a good time? Yeah, Are you having really a good time? To have some baby rusks. Is that what's going on? Have you got some food for me? Do you want a rusk, Bubba? <laughs> Hang on, let me just quickly put my phone down. Hang on, one Gabby's second. doing a mumsy thing. That's because I'm a mum. I am a mum, you know. As well as, um, a wife of a YouTuber. Can we say, David, uh, great video. Please, please Bob don't Bob? shout. Gabby, can't hit Tim. <laughs> Thumps is quite vocal. He is. Anyone else want one? Yeah, who wants a rusk? I'll tell you what, they're good. 853 thumbs up. Can we get to 1,000? That'd be amazing. John, hello to you. Do you want one, Tim? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. One thing that... Um, I always keep going on about and they need to jet wash the roof of the Sea Life Centre, don't they? Jules B says I've got rusk envy. Well, you can buy them for two pounds. It Tokyo. takes you right back though, doesn't it? It takes you right back to being a child the if you times, have rusks. The amount of times, right, we've been at a Premier Inn and I've, we've had dinner and I've got back to the room and gone on. Oh, could we eat some biscuits now? Oh, we haven't got anything. But Bumps has got some rusks and I've nicked them. Terrible. <laughs> Hang on, let's see, is he enjoying it? Yep, hang on. Why's my phone not working? You're enjoying it, aren't you, Casper? Come on, there it is. <laughs> and so is his mum. Mm. I think the heat's doing something funny with the gimbal, you know. <clears throat> Can we walk a bit Craig, quicker? I don't actually have any crisps, otherwise I would. Are you going to get red jeans? Signal's fine, Foxy says. All right, so we're walking up past um, Wellington Pier, gonna walk past the Pleasure Beach as well, and then we'll swing a, a left. They still have the penguins in the Sea Life Centre. Can't beat Farley's Rust, can you? Although it's not Farley's, is it? Isn't it Tesco's own brand? Steve says get the baby an ice cream. The only problem is he's got a dairy intolerance, so he can't have any ice cream no, that you would not. see down the sea from. You can have the ice cream we've got for him at home, but not this, unfortunately. Same minute. Monty, hello to you, Monty. Cookies on the seafront, says John. I know, look at them. They're huge. We said mentioned that about that before, actually. Just back from a week at Vauxhall in Great Yarmouth. Wish we were still there. Went on the wheel at download, only £10. Wow. So that was quite expensive then. They always are if you go to on a, one of these wheels at a festival. Milks is in the chat. Hang on, says, we're trying to reconnect. What's oh, going on? We're back. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I didn't even think we went. 
Yeah, it did. It came up on my phone. John Dilk says, Hi Tim Gabby Casper. Looks like a beautiful afternoon up there on the Golden Mile. Send in love and positivity from Leicester. Thank you, John. That's a nice comment. Thank you. So let's talk about this, shall we? Because um, they were supposed to getting um, some but funding yeah, from this from the lottery, yet mm. nothing is happening. So not quite sure what's happening with the Winter Gardens. I know they did have some funding secured on it, but... I had some great times in there. When it I used know, to be a I... roller skating rink. That was brilliant at night. It was a nightclub at one stage, wasn't it? Yeah, and I loved it when it was a nightclub as well. But it didn't last very long. Such a shame. The nightclubs never do last long around here. Should we have a quick walk on Wellington Pier? Yeah, do okay. not do what I know what I think you're thinking you're going to do. Oh, uh, yeah? No. Why? You can't because you spend too long in there and then I lose you. No, really. I just go at the little and come out. I've got some old chips. Look at that. It almost looks spooky, doesn't it? Do you reckon there's trees growing in there? Because they're coming out the window. <laughs> that no, I don't think they're side? coming out of the window. They're just growing up the side of it. But yeah, look at that now. That's like wow. such a shame. That is worse than the yellow brick road on Return to Wads. But there is some scaffolding in there now, which I can see. In fact, the whole, in fact, I can see the scaffolding all in there. So they are doing it. You know that blue hotel? I imagine it being like that. I managed to get a bed <laughs> made up at Yarmouth. <laughs> Where did he stay? That blue hotel. It's grand here. There's nothing like sea air for filling your lungs. You see, nowadays, all that kind of seaside humour would be classed as offensive. Yeah. Wouldn't Things it? Things have changed now, haven't they? Yeah. What's Wait, this? You can't have the banter anymore. Seaside humour at Yarmouth. Ah. If it was only beer. Eh? Any Alec? There, there is a shortage of men at Great Yarmouth. Gabby won't get that. Joyce, I completely read your message wrong. So Joyce has just put, we had a five minute thunder love watching you both. So I assumed they were getting it on while watching us. Thunderstorm, darling. But then, because <laughs> there was no full stop. So I read it like we were having a bit of thunder love and I was like, huh? I've never heard but, anybody call it thunder. No, neither have I. And I was just trying to get in my head what she was on about because there's no full stop. And then, then I, I just figured if there was a full stop, that was what it would have been. So. Can I get the loop? You're asking me if you can get the loop. No. Please. I'll go and walk on the pier. Walk on the pier. I'll catch you up. I will walk the left side. Uh -huh. Are you listening, darling? I'll yeah. walk the left side and go round, all right? You're not going to go anywhere else? No. Because you know I always lose you, right? Do you want to take Casper with you? Oh, you can't because there's oh, steps. It's okay. just quicker if I This go. is going to be difficult to try and... I have to multi-skill. No, there is no thunderstorms over here, which is quite nice. It seems like there's a lot of thunderstorms uh, around Wales, up the western side of the country. But in Norfolk, blue skies and sunshine. In fact, we'll get a really nice shot of the, uh, the beach from here. Oh, I've done this up a little bit. It's just me and Casper now. You wouldn't believe it, would you, that I'm actually walking around pushing a pram at the same time whilst holding the gimbal and then trying to read your messages. Hence why I rely on Gabby so much um, during the live sometimes because um, she reads the messages out and it's difficult for me to, to keep it up. But here we are on Wellington Pier. <laughs> Again, I think this is still owned by... Um, this is this still owned by... Um, Family amusements in Felixstowe that used to own the Wellington Pier, unless they've sold it, I don't know. Yeah, but this is a good shot of the beach and just how busy it is from this side. Most people are down by the shore. A bit more of a sea breeze kicking in though. It does take the edge off as soon as that kicks in, and it does kick in most of the time in the afternoon. It gets quite, um, quite cool. But look at that. Hang on, let's have a just a bit of a zoom in. You can see that, how busy the beach is in Yarmouth. It's good to see, like you say, the center of the beach is quite quiet, but right by the shoreline where everyone wants to dip their toes in. You know, it's like the old days of Great Yarmouth. It's just not as busy as it used to be. There's old fashioned photos, Victorian times, when the beach, even from here, was just absolutely packed. Like the days, like Brighton still is now. But for some reason, it does get busy on the sea run, but the beach does not get as busy. Even on the hottest day, it just doesn't. Life on the ocean wave. Uh, I don't think I've been on Wellington Pier, 
Britannia Pier many times. Well, the old oasis at Atlantis Town, the seafront. It's still there. You can just see it, just there. Although you can't really go up in it. Uh, could you let Casper film for a second? I can't, no. Anyway, if you're watching this live, giving the video a thumbs up, even on replay, helps us out. If we were to get to 2,000 thumbs up, I might go on there live, whether they'd let me. I doubt it. But a lovely place to come and have a drink. We don't get a sunset here, we get a sunrise, so. Look, there's people on jet. We were talking about um, people not embracing the, uh, the, the sea life around here, but there's someone on a jet ski. Not very often you see that in Great Yarmouth. Mind you, there's not many places to launch them. But the original part of Wellington Pier is still here. A lot of people don't even realize this, but at the back end, you can still see it. I don't know if this is um, registered with, the, uh, with Historic England or not, but it's still there. Look at that. The sea temperature this time of year is around about, I think, 11 or 12 degrees. So if you <laughs> come in the sea, you've, you need balls of steel because it's gonna be cold. But there are people in the sea right now there's someone on a lilo, but there isn't that many. Not like you would see in Brighton. I thought that was you. Do you know what? I, I could hear your walk. No matter what shoes I'm wearing. Yeah, I was, in hos I was in hospital once when I had my appendix out. No, that weren't your appendix. Sorry. What Project was I? XY. Okay, well, I can't, a different situation. I, can't, <laughs> I can't remember why I was in hospital, but I knew Gabby was coming down the corridor because I could tell by her walk. And just then, I knew that was you. That's when you know someone. You don't it? know my walk, though, do you? He hearing wise. Yeah, but you don't wear heels, so it's a bit difficult. Isn't no, it? I know, but loads of people wear heels, but I knew it was you. I oh, know your voice, though. I can hear oh, you. Oh, that's a harsh. Away. No, I'm only joking. How many that thumbs was up? Back. How many thumbs up have we my got? Sunglasses. Um, I don't know, but we've got 1.6k watching. Did you see the ride go up? Yeah, we did. <sighs> Sweating watching that. Um. Are the toilets free or do you have to pay? Well, I guess they are for Wellington Pier customers. But I have been a customer in the past. I buy a lot of coffee here, <laughs> that so doesn't it's work all the same. right. Hang on, who was it who said it's illegal to, to, not, to be refused to go to the toilet in a pub or something? Oh, is it? Yeah, do you remember when we was in Gibraltar? I know Gibraltar? it's illegal to refuse water, tap water. Yeah, but they will. Well, I don't know if it's illegal, but... Anyway, let's quickly walk around the back of um, Wellington Pier. Look at that. You can still see it lining up there. The sea does look really inviting, but I tell you, it's really cold. 974 thumbs up you got. Can we get to a thousand this Sunday afternoon? Wow. How long have we been live you now? Wasp? Yeah. Are you alright, Baba? It's like yummies. He's still eating it. You got biffy in your mouth. <laughs> He's having a great time. He loves the walks. He, he does. really does. Such he, a good boy. He is now a toddler, so there will be a moment where he will not be liking the walks anymore. Yeah, and he'll be wanting to get out the pram. But at the moment, he does. He wants to get out the pram if we're stationary for too long. And he's not very keen on sitting in coffee shops anymore, is he? Well, only for a short period he'll sit in one. But if he's on the move in the pram, he'll sit there all day long, just lapping up what's going on around him. He loves it. Who doesn't like a good walk, hey, Tim? You. I know that 1.7k like a good walk. You don't like a good walk sometimes. No, I'm a bit lazy, to be fair. I didn't know <laughs> I'm on this walk. You are. I want to be sat in the garden with my feet up with a Prosecco. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I love it. Thanks for the support, darling. No, I'm always here for you. Except when you're not. Apart from when I'm not. Except yeah. when you're shopping in Norwich. Yeah, well, that's different. That's a priority. Um, we can't, we can't really film. What was that? That was a stone. A stone. God, that was lucky. Oh. oh. Yeah, it is. What we Tim. Hello. <laughs> How are you? You're right. We're. Oh, we're uh, live now. We knew you said your missus was from Yarmouth. Yeah. And yeah. I, I said to you the other day, we ain't seen Tim, and there you are. <laughs> I know, I'm just, I live here and I just walk the streets. <laughs> That's all I do. The amount of people that say, oh, I wonder if we'll see Tim walking around. Yeah. Nine times out of ten if you come here in Yarmouth. Because me and Gabby do like walking down the seafront. Even yeah. though we live here. Because it's lovely. Where are you guys from? Rugby. Warwickshire. Rugby, Warwickshire. Ooh. That's a bit of a trek. Yeah, three hours. Oh. Wow. Well, it, it could be worse. It could be Scotland. 
<laughs> yeah, and that, that, some people like that, the part that I used to stay, I used to come down regularly from Scotland, and they used to come on the train, and I used to think, oh, that is painful. That's How long have you journey. been coming to Yarmouth for? Like, this is the first time since I was a kid. Really? <laughs> Has it changed much? No, the beach is still as lovely. It is. And you know what's really nice about Great Yarmouth? Maybe we're biased, but we say this a lot. You know, you go to some seaside towns that you remember going as a kid and you remember it being different and bigger and it's not the same. Whereas Great Yarmouth, I think, is just as good, if not better, than, than it used to be. Well, we went to Blackpool. We love Blackpool. Blackpool's the same as well. It is Derrick, isn't it? Derrick. <laughs> We say it's face. You're live, oh. Gary. Just don't swear. Oh, that's... What? That wasn't a swear word, was it? No, no, no. I just said you're live. It's fine. You can say... Because he was saying Blackpool's derelict. <laughs> yeah, round the back streets it is. It yeah. is. Yeah, no, round the back streets. Yeah. That's the thing. Great Yarmouth is... Yeah. You go round the back streets of Great Yarmouth and yes, there's a little bit. But a lot of it, like St George's Park and you've got the... the around by the, um, the quayside. It's actually really nice. But yeah, that is a bit of a shame about Blackpool. Yeah. You really don't have to go far, do you, to go Riding around the streets. Oh, are you? Yeah, and it's lovely. Yeah. yeah. We, we give our, our hotel a plug. Yeah, give yeah, your hotel a plug. Are you going to get a discount after this, do you think? No, no, no. no. Oh, right. Well, I wouldn't give him a plug then. Oh, <laughs> I'm joking. Him. Yeah, go on. St. Anne's Hotel. St. Anne's. St. Anne's. St. Anne's Hotel. Anne's. 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 hotel. Is it nice? So, is that? It's absolutely wonderful. Uh, <laughs> Norfolk Square. Is Norfolk that literally Square. just. Yeah, Norfolk Square is literally like a, a square. It's behind the mint, isn't it? Or near the mint. Yes. Uh, um, so See, I know you don't. Do you live here? I've never heard of St. Anne's, but I will seven? have a look. Is it number seven? Uh, honestly, fantastic guest. Is host. it? Yeah. Well, there you go. And they allow adults. Uh, you need friendly. to review Tim. Oh, look, he's a little tiny little noggy oh look. Oh, my goodness. Hello. <laughs> that is a classy business card. Oh. Honest to God, it's not the bigger hotel. Is it reasonably priced, would you say? Very reasonably. Is it? Yeah, is it bed and breakfast? Wow. Yeah. Bed and breakfast. Yeah. No charge for the dogs whatsoever. Well, that's yeah, good. and a lot of places do charge, the holiday they parks do. do. Yeah. But yeah. They, uh, but they're, they're lovely, aren't they? They can't do enough for you. Oh, that's, oh, that's really good. good. Yeah, that's, that's good service. Positivity is what we like for Great Yarmouth. Yeah. Wow, brilliant. We'll leave, we'll leave you to get into your drinks. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people in the chat are saying how they would like a cold beer right now. So yeah, we would like a cold beer, beer, but we ain't got time. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is your beer of choice? Of beer of Marissa. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, have I got a flight? Have I got a wasp on me, Gabby? Well... No, it's gone no. now. Oh yeah, good beer. Got it? Yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> Advertisement. Nice glasses nice to as well. See you, Gabby. Yeah, lovely to see you guys. Bye. Have a nice time. See ya. Bye. Yeah, making us jealous about the beer. Oh, it's yeah, it's ten like to four beer. now. I would like a beer. Someone said you've been live seventeen minutes. Um, how long? Seven zero. Mental. So much for going to Tesco before it shuts at four. I didn't know we were going to Tesco. You know, we well, I was planning it. <laughs> All right, we should get takeaway. A takeaway? Oh, no, we can't. I've got some chicken in the fridge that we need to use. Do you forget we're live? Sometimes. <laughs> Be careful about all the things you say. Oh, no, yeah. I knew we're live. Wash, I we need, I need to, to wash my know. pants later. Anyway, we are going to walk down towards the Pleasure Beach as well, so I know a lot of people have been asking for that. Uh, we've got over a thousand thumbs up. Thank you so Amazing. much, everybody. That's great. More thumbs up, the better. David and him said they were cute dogs. They were. They, one of them was so tiny. Was that a Chihuahua? Yeah. I think it was. Wasn't and it, it? It's one of those so little dogs. It's one of those little dogs where the tongue's too big for its mouth, so it sticks out. Do you find as well, I was saying this earlier, there was this girl that walked past with a pit bull and I said to Tim... Hang on, you can't, I know what you're going to say, you can't say that, it could be offensive. Why? That owners look like they're dogs. Well, to, to me, they, <laughs> well, not look like them, but match them. I used to have I mean? a cute dog, Sammy. They match him. Yeah, used... but you're a cute man, so that's okay. I've never been called a cute man before, Gabby. Well, yeah, a cute man? <laughs> that is weird. I think you're cute. Oh, thanks. Sometimes. Maybe you could say Hanson, that'd be nice. Yeah, but you don't get... Yeah. Yeah, you are Hanson. Why did you have to, like, second guess that? Like, you had to just go... I've never called yeah. a dog Hanson before, I suppose. No, 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 but you were like, yeah, yeah you are Hanson. Yeah, yeah no, you no, are Hanson. I was just thinking about dogs and, like, their owners. Okay. 
Darling, do you ever realise that when you're walking, I'm yeah, going to squeeze between sorry, you, darling, you ran yeah. me up against someone? I didn't ram me up against anybody. There's nobody there. Beware of the seagulls. Yeah, they're um, they're after everybody's Nikki chips. Nikki says that she thinks you're handsome, Tim. Cheers, Nikki. <laughs> We, we're just walking on where the train goes, but... Oh, my chat is frozen again. Oh, that's, that's happened like three times today. Yes, it is very busy in Great Armour today. Obviously, it's sporadically busy. Some places it's quieter, other places it's busier. It does go a bit dodgy around this bit, I've noticed. What, the signal? Yeah. Mind you, it depends who you're with. Who are you with? There's the um, Luke, model village. Thank you. Change I hands again. Spotted that because it was in capitals. Thank you. What? He said Gabby is smoking. And I don't think he means with a fag on either. I think he means I actually am smoking. Summer special. Look at that. Four pounds for strawberries and uh, ice cream. Oh, that poor little boy's just falling over. You're going to get the um, delay. Yeah, it's been a while since we've um, been actually done a live from Great Army. Just try to catch up with the chat. It's been a while since the seafront has had a, um, a helter skelter. Thank you, Soggy Biscuit 1000. Much appreciated that comment. <laughs> Soggy Biscuit. Soggy Biscuit. Sue says, can you do a video from Merryvale, please? You did, didn't you? Yeah, it's on the She's channel She's already now. done one. That's on there if you have a little look. If you've never been in here, the best place to get a cream tea, and I always say this to Gabby, but we never come in here, Christopher's Tea Room. Well, I can't have a cream tea, can I? Oh, yeah, you can't. That's why. <laughs> That's the thing, is because Gabby can't have dairy at the I moment, because of, because of Casper, we can't um, enjoy a good old cream tea. I'm sure you can do a vegan cream tea, right? Good luck finding a place that will do a vegan cream tea. Into the Pleasure Beach Gardens, the Upside Down House. We were in there, we did a live once in the summer last year, I think, and think uh, we were there. Sorry to be paying the butt, but do you think you should put a bit more cream with the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, if you want... Look how tiny that is. No, it's fine. That is so cute. I want one of those Ooh. in my garden. Can right, I just catch up with some of the chat? Sorry, I'm just literally creaming bugs up again. Uh, Beatrix, yes, we do. I, I, you haven't been seeing it, but um, I have been Casper. I, I have been Casper. I have been giving Casper his little drink. It's in my hand. I'm multi-skilled, you see. We can do it. Uh, what's in the place of the log flume? We'll show you. How much is the upside down house? Uh, it's five pound fifty to go in there. Children of children of four pound fifty. Is Gabby going to do another music quiz on her next live? You haven't done that for ages, have you? I did one the other night, didn't I? Did a did music you? quiz, yeah. Well, I, I just incorporated it. I did like five questions. By the way, if you yeah. haven't already, uh, Gabby's got a YouTube channel. Make sure you give her a follow. The link is in the description. But uh, she Come does on a over, baby. she does a coffee morning. <laughs> Right, if you like that kind of thing. And people were in Benidorm coming up to me going, I did a oh, wine we, night the we other night. Your... You what? Did a wine night? Where were you? Well, yeah, you Working. were away, weren't you? You did a wine night? Yeah, don't you know? Anyway, she does a coffee morning every Monday at around about 11 o'clock. Are you doing it tomorrow? I'm doing a coffee morning tomorrow, yeah, but not a wine night because we're hitting the road tomorrow, aren't we? <laughs> well, We've you can't travel. be doing the wine nights. That's too much. Because... I do the lives at night, oh, you'd be and you would take jealous, away my lives. Bit jealous, bit FOMO. I'm a little bit. No, um, yeah, coffee morning tomorrow because I think the people that watch in the morning are kind of expecting it. But I will chuck in a wine. Once night again, so Casper often. is Thumps. Yes, that's his nickname. We have to explain this so many don't times, don't we? Boy. But oh, my hands are greasy now, and they've got like crumbs from the rusk all over my hands as well. It's the wet sound effect. Okay, right, you okay, ready? Okay, let's go. So we've got 1.7k watching. 
Tim, you don't do a music quiz though, like Gabby. Did we did last in New Monday Year's. night. New Year's Eve we did. Do you remember? That wasn't a music quiz. That was just a quiz. We'll do a travel quiz on New Year's Eve. Again this year. Well, that's a long wait for people, isn't it? See, we could go on one of those live. Again, with Sarah's, Sarah's tea rooms. We love that for a good old cream tea before oh, yeah. we, we before you couldn't have any. Yeah, great place to come for a cup of tea or coffee. Charlie says Casper is the image of you. Look, he would love that. I don't think he'd be secure enough in there, too. Oh, not yet, no. Probably right. You need something to really strap him in. Honestly, though, being a man, um, I can't wait for my son to get old enough to go and um, go back you on and the Ronnie rides. You and did them together. When... To go back on the rides that I know that I just can't go on as a grown man. So you used to go on with Holly, but now Holly is just losing interest. And now well, no, Holly's, Holly's a 18-year-old teen, teenager. She's not going to... She, we were a couple of years ago, she still would have done, but she doesn't anymore, does she? She went anyway, to like Fort Park, she'd go on roller coasters, but she won't go on that. We are hoping you're enjoying the live stream this afternoon, wherever you are. Indeed, is, is there, have we got many people in from um, outside of the UK? Do tell us if you are well, watching. Well, yeah, because somebody from just. The um, UK. JBM Travels has just said to him, when you going Lisbon and doing a video? Lisbon, Portugal, L you mean? Lisbon. You have to say Lisbon, Portugal, or Lisbon. Uh, uh, Australia. Wow, since when are you so clued up on geography? Tanya, thank you very much for your um, well, I've super chat. I love your darling. videos, I appreciate that. Um, Aidan says, go karts cool, never seen those in Hunstanton. What, go karts? Okay, so we've got Finland in the chat, we've got San Diego, Netherlands, uh, Lowestoft. <laughs> Craig, thanks very much. Guys, try a creme de mint. Creme de mint. Mint. Menth? What's a creme de menthe? Is that like a fag? Like a menthol? No. What? What's a creme de menthe? I don't... I thought it was a drink. Or is that like um, a vegan um, cream tea? <laughs> I'm not sure. By the way, Derby is not abroad. No, Derby is Lisbon, isn't. Portugal, Brisbane, Australia. Thanks to someone for... Yeah, Dubai. come to Malta. Dylan is in Dubai. Have we got any Egyptians in the house? Because then... Um, when I was in Egypt... Texas is a drink. When I was in Egypt, there was a lot of guys coming up to me saying they watched the videos. So, uh, have we got any Egyptians in the house? <laughs> Come and say hello. Um, Craig just said it's a drink. Yeah, I know. We'll have to, we'll have to Google it because we're a bit naive to that one. In fact, um, is Mohammed in the chat? Because I know that Mohammed watches all my lives now. Mohammed's the guy I met in Egypt, the taxi driver, who um, was really nice, but obviously wanted money. For, for the niceness <laughs> he wanted me to tip him big Wait, which okay. I didn't mind doing um, but he was um, really nice and I, I, I would say I felt safe with Mohammed driving around Egypt but um, yeah no, no seat belts no seat belts in the car and they go on the phone so what is in place of the old log flume well the big answer is nothing Zilch. I don't know what the plan is to put in here maybe a couple of fair rides but actually it's surprisingly bigger than I thought. Such a shame, isn't it? Do you know what's even weirder? It doesn't feel like it was here. It feels like it's further down there because now it just looks so different. I know what they can do with this. What? Outside swimming pool? Skating rink. Now, we need Gabby, one. there's a good idea. Yeah. But unfortunately, Because we outside... used to have one in the marina centre. Well, actually, day. it's flat. Yeah. They could pop a building up. Yeah. <laughs> That cost money. And someone is going to take my idea and run with it and make a mint. Tell us in the comments if um, if you've got any ideas for this what space. What would you so we do could, with it? I'll let the Pleasure Beach know. I mean, I'm sure they've got their own ideas about what they want to do in here. Keith, thank you so much for your super sticker as well. That means a lot. Thank you very much, Keith. Cheers, Keith. Right, we'll walk up towards the, uh, the Pleasure Beach. Friend. And you know what? You can now walk back into the Pleasure Beach since COVID, you know. There's always those gates and you couldn't get in there. But now you can actually just walk through, I think. Daniel, that comment did make me laugh. What's Said that comment? Mohammed is, is driving, so he's probably just watching above 50 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah that was crazy. Me. I'm not going to lie. Um, when I was when I was um, when I was in Egypt and I was talking to Mohammed, he um, he was he was checking out my YouTube channel, and then of course he continued then to watch a couple of my videos. 
whilst he was, I wasn't sitting in the front as well, and I had to sit in the front because there was uh, seat belts in the front. There wasn't in the back. But um, a lot of people have been commenting on the video that I did in Sharm El Sheikh, saying, "Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, um, sharks! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god!" Well, first of all, yes, it, there has been a shark attack in Egypt, but it was in Haggadah. It wasn't in Sharm El Sheikh. And you know, let's be honest, it can happen anywhere. You know, people go, "I'm not going to Sharm El Sheikh because of sharks." If you're in California, I mean, how many times that, that happens in California? Crocodiles in Florida. I know, and saltwater crocodiles. Imagine going in the sea. Mm -hmm. It's bad enough a shark, but a blooming alligator, a crocodile. Oh, oh no way. So yeah, I mean, it can happen anywhere, but um, or just not a reason go not too to go. Deep in. Just have a little splash. <laughs> have a little splash. Play it safe. So yeah. Um, Quickly, um, people are coming up with suggestions. They're saying a traditional fun fair, but the thing is, we've got a fun fair here. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty um, And a lot of people are saying, yeah, roller skating rink sounds good. Um, but also, we've got to say a big happy birthday to Trish. Can we not go in anymore? Oh, I thought we could, no. Oh, no. Yeah, but at least they don't have all those different gates now. They've only just got like um, just one area. Is Craig working today? Yeah, it's so nice. Is he? I don't know. Oh, we'll walk around the outside, we still see quite a lot, can't we? Go this way. No, you can't, it's all brick. What, that way? Yeah, you can't see anything. But anyway, we're no, yeah, we're going to go back down the sea from that way okay, anyway, great. so... Um, um, yeah, big we'll happy quick birthday to Trish, walk sorry, by Trish. the beach. Go back that way. Because uh, we didn't walk back down the sea front, did we, so... Yeah. So, yeah, it's some interesting, so what, what are we thinking then? Skate, skate... Skate park. Great big... Um, Nightclub that we can have phone We'll, we'll ask the Pleasure Beach staff. What plans have you got to put oh, there? We can't actually start it in oh, some There are some plans there. There's security. There are plans. Is, oh, it, gonna oh, is, is it, it, it going to be exciting or is it going to be a bit? We don't know oh. yet, but there's a ride being built out in Italy. Oh. oh. So not a roller skate, it, it, it's, been, it's been, been oh. built at the moment. And, uh, it is it going to be a fair ride or is it going to be a roller coaster? We haven't got clues. We don't know. It's going to be a roller coaster. It's been kept top. Oh, roller coaster would be good. All right. There you I'd go. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't a roller coaster. It was supposed to be a volume. Is it going to be better than Icon the, with the Pleasure Beach? No. no. Well, I think they're taking some inspiration from the Pleasure Beach platform. Because um, I think they're the uh, owner's cousins. Mm. Are they no, they're, 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 not, they're no. not related, no. no. They're not related, no. Pleasure Beach is Skegness. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're thinking of Skegness. Yeah, no, like, not, not, yeah. not Blackpool. Anyway, thanks very much for the information. Yeah. Enjoy your fag. Thank, Thank you. Enjoy your tea break. Sorry, disturbed. Yeah, that would be good actually, because uh, if, if they just put a couple of fair ones. Are we still live? Because I honestly, yes, I, I'm yes, so sorry, yes, I can't see yes, anything yes, on my yes. phone at the minute. Um, thanks for all sticking with us as well. We've been live now for over uh, an hour and a no, uh, hour and a half. Um. Isaac says, "Put the camera on who you're talking to." Well, sometimes you don't like to do don't that. Unless, like that. Yeah. yeah, and as and, and, and as careful. their staff, they're working, yeah. they're having a peg. We don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Don't want to get them in trouble. Um, yeah. And I normally do. I always ask, filming. but yeah. because they were working, I thought they might yeah. not appreciate that. Um, Luke says they're bringing back the Mulan ride. The Mulan ride. Um, Life on the Ocean Wave says it's been a brilliant live. Thank you so, so much. Are oh, you not out in Blackpool enjoying the sunshine life on the ocean wave? <laughs> it's nice to have a change of scenery, have you got thunderstorms? Have you got thunderstorms? David and M says Yarmouth could We're talking about Pleasure Beach, there, man. Right? How you doing, buddy? You all right? You're live on YouTube. Nice to see you. The owner of the... Well, <laughs> the Are you the, Aaron? I'm Jamie, Aaron's this is brother. Jamie, Aaron's Hi, brother. Nice to meet you. And you how's it going? We were just saying about um, what can you say what you're gonna put there? Oh, it's top secret at the top minute. Top secret, yeah. you're keeping us <laughs> in oh, the <laughs> We were saying that to. You've got to leave them all you know, suspense. in suspense. Yeah. Exactly. Does it feel weird in not being there? It feels very strange, especially this time of year. Yeah. Heat. Oh yeah, I know. That's something that um, I would have loved to have done today. Down, didn't yeah. It? Yeah. yeah. Are you doing anything for Halloween this year? Yeah, yeah, we're still going ahead with Fairground Fright, so we're doing five nights again this year. That is good. Oh, wow. yeah. you, the last time you came there was when you were pregnant, Gabby. <laughs> yeah, I could go on anything, just for fun house. <laughs> and even then I had to avoid some bits, so that was yeah, a shame. Yeah, properly this year then. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably get stuck into it all. Um, if, you, if you missed it, I actually, the guys here were very kind to let me walk the, uh, the wooden roller coaster, which was an amazing experience. Did you actually ever watch that video, Gabby? Which one was that? 
Obviously not. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> when I walked, when I, I walked the, the roller coaster, Sorry, I, was trying to I'm terrible, I walked the roller coaster, the wooden roller coaster. I, I literally walked it. it. Yeah, and you with that gentleman. He yeah. Showing you around, he said, "Gentleman, that like, was very respectful there." Wow. And he's been there a long time, hasn't he as well? Yeah. yeah. I've, oh, I've got his name now. Yeah. I thought it was very Mark. brave, actually. Could have been Mark. Yeah, I heard probably Mark. He's one of our carpenters. Yes. Yeah. And he was he was telling me some stories. But it was just the way that he was like walking down that barely uh, the really big slope, yeah. just casually doing it. And I was like, hang on, <laughs> I can't go down there. And he was just like walking all the way down there. And it was oh, that was Second a brilliant experience. Him, no, he does yeah. it every day. And do you know what? I had so many people message me saying they would love to do that. Yeah. You should. Um, I don't know health and safety. I don't know whether you could, but like to do uh, like a few like a walks. Guy, yeah, thing, people yeah. would love that no walking it. Yeah, they do their walk the woody. Yeah. Um, I was supposed what, to. Is that big dipper? Yeah, I was supposed to walk the big one, and they keep um, taking the mick out of me because I was busy that day. Oh, okay. And I was supposed <laughs> to walk it, but I was busy that day, so I couldn't do it. But yeah, that'd be really good. Anyway, we wait with bated breath to see what's going to be. Yeah. Will that be next year? Obviously now. Again, all very much up in the air, but yeah. just Let's stay see. tuned. So watch this space. And you guys, and are, are you guys have got a, play, uh, a YouTube channel as well, we haven't have, you? Yeah. Is it? At GYP Beach. There you go. Go and check out their YouTube channel because you do some like POVs or some of the stuff on the rides and that. Exactly that. And like uh, the, the Halloween stuff you put up on there, it's really good as well. So go and check them out. Brilliant. Yeah. We'll leave you. Guys. See you later. Take care, Take care buddy. Bye. That was perfect timing, wasn't it? <laughs> You know, I must say, um, it's nice that it's run run by the two Him and his brother, lads, yeah, the brothers. Because they've got like a bit of a modern, like, take on things. Oh yeah, definitely. And I think that... For the younger generation. Yeah, I think it's well needed. Obviously their dad is uh, Albert. Albert Jones. Yeah, who uh, has owned the Pleasure Beach for this time. Yeah, <laughs> you're nice definitely getting... The, well, we I did, you heard it from nights. the... You heard it from the horse's mouth. Because uh, on the fight nights, don't they have like a like a DJ on and everything, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Are they yeah. proper. Well, they tried something last year with a um, uh, like a, a span uh, like a Havana Hawaiian nights type thing as well with dancers and that kind of thing. So that's quite good. Yeah. Is it me? Or is it getting cloudy? Yeah. Over it's the over, over this over this side anyway. See the cloudlet coming in. We got um, one point. 6k with us um great redevelopments going on there in great Yarmouth. yeah actually ebony things are well beck should i say are oh, things are looking up a little bit um hi i say hi to rob yasmin and new grandson zane oh congratulations to you guys wow congratulations and welcome to the world little zane that's lovely that is yeah, so we're so sorry if we've missed some of the chat. Um, unfortunately, I've had some problems with my phone again, and I know that Gabby's had a few problems with the, the phone and the chat, so we, we're really sorry if we have missed any of the chat. Come and say hello again, and we'll um, we'll, um, we'll mention you. Is Gabby's mum with you today? No. A lot of people inquire about mum, don't they, on these lives? They do. Is Arnold Palmer golf still there? No. It's, it's in Skegness, though. <laughs> Apparently it's looking thundery in Peterborough. Do you reckon it's going to come our way then? No, we're not getting any. We're not. Not this side. Although we do like a good thunderstorm, don't we? Casper hasn't seen I a thunderstorm yet, so we don't know it's what amazing. he would... Casper hasn't seen a thunderstorm yet, or yeah. felt one, so how would he react? I like it more, obviously, when it happens at night time, though, and you're all snuggled up indoors. Yeah. Now, that freaks me out, because I'm like, what if lightning comes to the roof? This can happen. And it has happened. Yeah, but like you were saying about the shark attacks, it could happen anywhere. Yes, I know, but I can't exactly, when you're upstairs, if I was downstairs, I'd be all right. Best thing to but do, if I'm in an attic bedroom, best thing I can't to do feel cozy about it. Go and get in your car. Rubber wheels. If you had your car. <laughs> Thanks for rubbing that in. My car. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Honestly, it's horrible not having a car and having to use your car. So I've got a way of... I hate that. When when my car is in somewhere and I have to depend on yours, I hate so that. So I guess I've got to ask this question, oh, Gabby. Yeah. Walk with me, Tim. <laughs> I guess I, was, I have to ask the question, do you mind if I borrow the car? When? Next week. Oh, well, maybe another day, thank you. Let's, let's, let's see if when we're doing live, we're going to sit and have our portrait done. <laughs> well, we don't know that, does he? Oh, right. I don't know if he heard me shout to them lads. Um, you want to borrow my car? Yeah, is that right? Where are you going? Uh, Thought Park. 
Do you Isn't want to that a secret? No. The video will be coming up soon, but uh, it's, it's for um, a hotel stay. I can't say no to you, can I? And that's why you've asked me on the live, because I'm going to look wicked if I said no. <laughs> Very yeah. cleverly done. Well, yeah, I'm not being funny, but you know, a lot of the time, of course you can. It's, um, you know, we're lucky to be a two-car family, but unfortunately, we kind of do need it because I'm away driving around everywhere, and you cope, need. You know, it's just expensive, isn't it? We we need to do something with the insurance, though, really, because um, it'd be better if we were both. I don't know, on both people's insurance or something, or one person's insurance. Sorry. No, I don't think we... so. <laughs> Is Smidge okay in the hot weather? He's cool in the house. Oh, yeah, he's, he's all fine. Right. Um, uh, Luke can we say says, I'm not far from Fort Park. Oh, there you go, Luke. You'll have to invite him around for a cup of tea. Can we say it to Perth at Zuka Girl um, with a little super sticker there? Hang How's on, it going? That one. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support. Oh, yes, I've just seen it. Yeah, thank you very much. Has it rained in Blackpool today? That. We don't know if it has. What's wrong with the Land Rover? Scott, the engine's completely and utterly broken. It's a Range Rover. And I've broke the engine, basically, yeah. but I didn't put any Tim, oil in it. Tim was uh, a little bit too dependent on the engine, engine management light. No, 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 the oil light. Oil light, yeah, you know those on. lights that come up. And it didn't come on. Yeah, and instead of checking it. But then having said that, you do get it regularly serviced, so in theory, I know. it should have been and I okay, was And I but... was thinking about the oil light would come on first, but there you go, a valuable lesson. Always anyway, check your yeah. oil. <laughs> if I said this to mum and dad, what happened? The first thing my mum and dad would say is, you shouldn't be dependent on those you dashboard things. Oil. You should be checking that regularly. Yeah, so, no. you know, we are, well, I say we, it's not my car, it's your car, but you are at fault, Tim. It yeah. is your fault. It is, and I have to pay the price. It's an expensive lesson. Learned. And it's a, a very expensive lesson. My battery's just died. Oh, no. But it did quite well, to be fair. It did? No fan needed in Scarborough. It hasn't been hot yet. I know, because Scarborough's still suffering like what we did. With the um, with the cloud and the wind coming in off the sea, it is cooling down a little bit though. I'm not going to lie. That's yeah, it's just nice, isn't it? That's one thing about living by the coast, especially on the Norfolk coast, is that nine times out of ten in the summer, it doesn't get too hot in the evening, does it? Because we get the sea breeze kick in, and when it yeah. does, you leave the window open, and it it does bring in a lovely cool breeze. So when my sister Although who lives summer in Cambridge, was a nightmare, wasn't it? When she's sweltering, we're like, oh, it's a lovely, yeah. But that's only because we had the, um, what did we have done in the roof? Insulation. <laughs> we put insulation in the roof, which is gonna sound weird to say, but it was the worst thing we ever did. It's brilliant it for the winter, the winter but, but in the summer, it's just stifling. too hot. Can't win, so we have to get a cooler this year. Anyway, no one cares about that, I don't think. Yeah, so. Julie, I understand. Ooh, hang on. Sim said, uh, Wayne said, Tim moaning again, what shock. Is... Harsh. What? what about his car? I think he's got every right to have a good old wage about that one. No, it's because <laughs> I, it's because the, the odd um, person now says when I do hotel reviews, I moan. Oh. It's only my review whole, at the end of the, the day. The whole point is of it is, yeah. yeah. If I just went there the whole time and went, well, actually, I do a I lot of the time naff, say it's okay. I'm going to say it's good. It's all right. It's not accurate. People, it's funny because people say to me, you don't moan enough. I wouldn't stand for that. And you, you're quite too nice about it. And then when I do moan about it, people are going, I think you're being a little bit too harsh there. <laughs> so you can't win. And the point of the matter is, does it matter what Tim's opinion is? Watch the video only, and make your own mind up. Exactly. Yeah. It's only my opinion. Tim, you want to get a Nissan Qashqai? Nah, I'm alright. <laughs> well, the best car I ever had was my 6 My car hasn't been scrapped, no. Not yet. Anyway, I hope it hasn't. Uh, Mrs. Cambridge Vlogs, hello. We saw you in um, Goulston a couple, was it a couple of years ago? Or last year? It's alright, don't worry. Next time when I do a video, I won't moan about anything. But you know, that's the whole point of review. Like when I did that uh, ultra expensive hotel, and if there's something wrong, you're gonna moan about it because you're paying a lot of money you for it. pick out the rough with the smooth? Thanks, Gabby. You're welcome. You, I, I, I'll tell That's you what. we're married, we scratch each other's backs. Some people in the comments I moan. I mean, I don't agree with you, but I'll just say some it. Some people in the comments moan a lot more. 
I'm only joking. Uh, Shane, Tim, have you looked at staying at the... Let me push that, I've got no phone in my hand. Mal Mansion Oxford Prison Hotel. Bodmin was pretty awesome. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to check that out. Um, is the gift road open? I have no idea what you're on about. Regent Road. Most of us are honest. Why have you stopped, Gabby? Because I just in my slider. <laughs> Somebody put those plants on the seafront need watering. What plants? We just went past them there. Oh. <laughs> and that, that's the thing, because... Um, yeah, that you get some seasides that really do the whole in bloom thing in the summer. But at the moment, Pop it the basket. I can't see that happening. Great Yarmouth doesn't really do that, really. Well, it does. There is some gardens in Great Yarmouth, it's going up, it's going but up. they don't do many uh, in bloom, like you know, flowers and that kind of stuff. Right, and this is probably the point where I'm like, okay, I don't feel safe, and then it just gets worse and worse. And worse. Well, normally it starts going round when it goes, but it does go high. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, it takes you up before it spins. Yeah, but it. Uh... Paul. Go on, Gabby. Go on it. No. I probably would if it stayed at that height, but because um, it goes really high. Such a win. Just the way as well, like, it spins out and you're kind of on the side. Just inhaled wacky back here. I know. There's lots of storms over London and Manchester at the moment. Great Yarmouth's not going to get any. It's a bit random how the clothes are really out in the pavement here. Like really, really far out from the shop. <laughs> so you can't miss it. If anyone could swipe a t-shirt from there. I think they need to change their ads though, it's not Christmas anymore. They're normally up to date with the uh, the advertisement on there, on these might billboards. Be for next year, they might be planning ahead. You may remember that me and Gabby, when we first started the YouTube channel, we did a live snowy walk from here, which was uh, pretty epic. Do you remember that guy on the bike? I remember that was my first live video, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, I remember it's absolutely freezing and we were like literally walking like this, like worried we was gonna slip over. I know, if you wanna get a little bit of snow, if you click under the live. I watch back on that now and I'm like, we were oh walking... my god, we were so much younger. God, yeah. Well it was only two years ago. I know, but I can really like feel we were, the difference. We were walking down this seafront and it was like minus three and it was snowy and it was icy. Yeah, the video is still there under the live section. Uh, why do we keep asking this thing? Do, do that thing where you drive mini cars or lorries on the other side of the fence with steering wheels and buttons. Love that as a child. Oh. Yes, they. We if earlier on during the video we did. This is where the Arnold Palmer golf course used to be. It's now called um, Castaway Island. It's pretty well themed though, actually. I kind of like it in there. Yeah, that is well themed. There's another we've, one further down that's quite well themed. I think we've only ever done it once. Crazy miniature golf. golf. Crazy golf. And nobody ever golf. wants to play it with me. No, no, I'll play it with you, Gabby. You never wanted to play with me. When we go for walking Felix though, I say, let's play mini golf, and you're like, Yeah, but it's, it's rubbish there. Oh, yeah. That's why. Do you know the average price of a B&B &B in Great Yarmouth? Uh, it fluctuates. Anything from... A year, ten. Yeah, I can't say the average price because it can fluctuate. You can get one for 80, you can get one for 40. You can get one for 30 quid. So it all just depends. Go on to hotels.com, Trivago. Well, actually, TripAdvisor is quite good. I didn't know this, but on TripAdvisor, right, if you click on to a particular hotel, you can actually see the uh, the uh, the price of, and the dates of how cheap it is um, throughout the month. So it's probably advisable to do that. You're having a lovely little ride, aren't you, today? It's lovely today. You're having a good time. See you come, bumpies. Foxy B, thank you very much for staying with us. At the moment on my phone, all I can see is naught people watching, uh, naught minutes live, and the chat. I have to keep pressing the button to refresh and I can't it. Check. I know. I've ma I'm maxed out. Um, mods, if you're in, tell us how many people we've got watching now, because I have no idea. It feels like there's nobody watching. 
And Gabby's just chilling out, walking past the silver slipper well, apartments. I can't, I can't read out anyone's chats, can I? I'm do you feel like, Do you feel naked yeah, when I you've do. got it, yeah, when you can't yeah. see what's going on? Because you're like, oh, is it is it still there? Uh, 1.7k people watching. What is the marina centre? It's a swimming pool. There's also an indoor water park in there. Some slides and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Leaning out the window. Uh, unfortunately, the um, one of the old... Well, we were sort of talking about how Great Yarmouth is always good and upcoming, but one thing that's a bit of a blot on the... Uh, on the seafront is well it's not a blot it's 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 just nothing's been done to it you can see the outside of the facade of the building um, there was a company that bought it about I don't know 15 years ago and that redid the front of it and it was kind of going to be like a resort and they did this whole big um, amusements in there and the ceiling do you remember the ceiling had LED lights in it and there was panning for gold in there and they really spent a lot on it and um, they redid the hotel bit but now it's just, I don't know what the future is. I think it had money issues, but the hotel part of it is still there. They did all the, I don't know if they did the rooms up, but they did all the balconies up as well. If you can see them up there. But Why yeah. Why people like living in it? No, nobody lives in them. But the whole outside of the building has been done. Yet yeah, nothing, I don't know what the future is, but that would be a good hotel because you've got, you've got some amazing views up there and you've got balconies as well. If you can just, hang on, if I zoom in, I'll show you what I mean, look. So, yeah, it would be really nice if they, uh, I say they, if, I don't know what the future is for that. 1.2K thumbs up now, that's amazing. By the way, have you noticed something? They've, this is the world we live in today, but they've frosted that up now. Because oh, like, remember, I you guess. could see straight in there. But this is the weirdest thing, and I, yes, I'm not condoning it, but here's a question for you. So we live, we're right here by the beach, where you can get the same view, but outside, but when you get the view inside a swimming pool, they have to do that, because it's, because people don't want to be seen, yeah, but they can be seen on the beach. <laughs> what do you mean, really? Don't you understand what I'm trying to say? You'll see the same thing like I would do now, but by going on the beach, people in swimming costumes. Oh, right, okay. Fair so enough. why do they do that? I don't know. I think we just lost the signal a little bit then. Oh yeah, the marine signal. Uh, right family said crazy part is is the kids pool isn't frosted very good point that isn't oh. so that bit is frosted but the other side where the water park maybe they isn't maybe they should have a round to it yet maybe they are going to do it maybe, maybe. yeah Who but knows? no no I don't think they will because if they do that then it won't entice people to go in there because they can't yeah. see what it looks like I thought it was uh, we went swimming in the marina centre and um I thought it was really cold. Like, oh, I, I loved it in there. I thought it was really good. I took Casper in there. It was really oh, good. don't get me wrong. I think the little splash park's good at that. But when we actually went into the pool, um, it was really cold. And I think it was at, like, I understand that if it's an Olympic kind of pool or anything, it does have to be colder, of course, because people are... Shout out to know, Lauren. Sorry. I, I think for babies, that can be quite cold in there. Like, I think babies, it should be at 30, 31, not 29 or 28, Probably. 29. It's Somebody said, do you remember yesterday's world? I used to love going in there for coffee, at, uh, for a cream tea. It was brilliant. Well, I only ever went in there once. And I didn't return, though. Spencer Groom, I was down great numbers this morning, gutted, I've just missed you. Uh, thanks for the stream, Tim and Gabby. Go, got to go get food time. Shane, this is probably the longest live stream we have done in a I while. I know, I'm starving. <laughs> I might have to eat another Farley's Rusk at this rate. This, this is actually uh, almost a two hour live stream. Why do I feel bad? I feel bad like I should apologize <laughs> to people. We hope you've enjoyed it anyway. The lives are where we just have well, a walk people around. People are actually optionally watching. You don't need to apologize. Although, actually, I, I remember being in Lanzarote and I was alive for about almost two hours as the sun went down. Yeah. You can feel the weather. There is, like, a little it's bit of... It's turning cooler. Yeah, there is a bit of a sea, sea chill. Sea in. chill. Sea chill, yeah. You do know there's a proper word for it. I forgot what it's called now. Sea Somebody, mist. 
No, no, no. Uh, yes, but there's an Too actual. Fog. Yeah, but it's called something. I forgot what it's. So it's not called that. Uh, yeah, no. There's a name of it. Somebody tell me in the chat. It's on the tip of my tongue. I can see it, but I can't say it. Uh, the Empire Building does look really cool. It does, and it's good that it's back open. Yeah, I know. Look at the Anchor Gardens. Look, they haven't watered the flowers here. They're all dying. But see, some seaside towns let something else the Great Yarmouth does do. They've always invested in the plants, but they could do some watering because we haven't had any rain here in Norfolk for about a month because I laid some new turf down behind. <laughs> I've had to go out there every night watering it with a watering can. I know, and then when Tim went away, I totally neglected it. So Yeah, I know, and that's why I was out there for an hour last night going backwards because I don't have a hose pipe. Darling, it going backwards and forwards. You don't realise this, but because you're doing this and I didn't do it, I'm actually saving you getting a gym pass because you're getting your exercise that you need at home. So stop whinging about it. Uh, greetings, Mark and Jacqueline. Sea fret, that's it. Thank you, Darren. Oh, have they still I got the... heard of that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Chad, we are in Florida, but my wife is from Norwich, so we are uh, bringing our daughter to ride the snails before we take her to Disney. Well, that's two big comparisons. <laughs> a nice warm-up. Yeah. Um, would you try Cape Town, South Africa? Yes, definitely would. Oh. Hello, you are right. You having a nice time? <laughs> they just said your name first, it was like, Gabby, there's B&Bs that you can get in Great Yarmouth for £25. I didn't pounds. know whether they watch the channel, whether I might have known them from the past or something. Or Jordan sure. says, can you start doing the Caravan Park review again? Well, where are we going tomorrow, Gabby? Is it a secret? Well, don't say the I specific have to check site. because but... the amount of times I put my foot in it. Well, tomorrow we're doing a sun holiday. That video will be up soon. Um, first time I've ever put one up on the channel. I meant to do it last year, but I actually didn't manage to um, get all the tokens. But this year, you guys helped me out because you helped me with the tokens. <laughs> so, but this is where we're going to say goodbye as we oh, have uh, the pier in the background. And then we're going to go for a paddle. We're going to go for a skinny dip. We want to say a massive thank you, as always. remove my shades, otherwise it could be quite impersonal. For everybody who's watched the live stream, and actually the, the amazing, you know, 1,600 uh, of no, you that has stayed with us for the last two yeah, hours. thanks to everyone. Wow. No, that's commitment. It is. Well if done. If you want to see, like you say, um, a little bit of a different video, Great Yummer from a jet boat, uh, the link is in the description now. Go check it out. Go and see Gabby's channel, at Gabby Starbuck. The link is also in the Belvedere description. Belvedere or Foxy B, um, or... Uh, is Annie playing you there? I haven't seen Annie playing you this afternoon. Um, anyone who's a mod out there, post a link, that'd be well, amazing. Well, you don't need to because it's in the description, darling. Okay, well, just in case nobody uh, gets a chance to yeah. go in there. There will be a video coming up. Obviously, I've just returned from Benidorm. A few videos coming up from Benidorm, the first of which will be a travel day video, which will be very interesting from Luton. If you haven't flown from Luton for a while, I ride their new um, dark uh, train going from the train station to... Uh, Luton Airport and, and you know Luton Airport has changed so much it's actually quite nice to travel from there now um, and obviously getting car hire in Benidorm and then on to my hotel it's a very nice hotel so yes yeah, a few Benidorm videos coming up we're going to be filming this £9.50 sun holiday next I thought it was a secret I didn't say the location it's just the sun holiday. oh okay right yeah so that video will be coming up soon as well and hopefully we'll be live what are you doing next Sunday are you free I'll have to check my diary Tim I, I might book you in. I bet in. you'll be free Monday. I might book you in. Yeah, so we'll see you then. Thanks for watching the live. We'll leave you with the view of um, Britannia Pier. Thanks very much Have for watching. Have a lovely evening, everybody. Cheers, everyone. Bye, see, bye. <laughs> I can't stop it. gone weird I can't stop it like top corner <laughs> <laughs> we might have to stay on because the app's gone weird and I can't stop it but anyway bye everyone again what are you doing what are you doing don't you Let's get Mr Gimble up
<laughs> it's the only way I can do it. Otherwise, you're going to see the whole evening with me and Gabby. Nobody wants to see that. Gabby's got some washing to do. First of all, I'm going to go grab a 